What's going on, everybody? My name is Power Bang. I'll be your host for today's Conquerors of Karakin Live event brought to you by PUBG Mobile. Super excited to hop into PUBG Mobile's latest and greatest map that's been added to the game just a couple of weeks ago. We've got 16 of your favorite creators from around the region to do battle with you guys today. And ultimately, that's the key word. You guys, you guys are going to be playing with your favorite creators. We'll get into that in just a little bit, but let's Talk about some of the highlights of this new map, Karakin, and dive into what PUBG Mobile's got to offer. It's time to drop in. Let's go. Karakin is here. Only two by two kilometers in size, PUBG Mobile's newest map packs an incredible punch. Explore a rocky and dry terrain that's reminiscent of Miramar. It might look like a familiar desert landscape, but that's only the beginning. On Karakin, there's a labyrinth of underground tunnels and bunkers, only accessible with explosives, like the brand new Sticky Bomb or the Panzerfaust. These tunnels are packed with loot and full of danger, so explore them with caution. Maintain the high ground and enjoy the long-range rifle battles that are perfectly suited for the rocky hillsides of Karakin. If you find yourself in one of the few cities, watch out for the flimsy walls. Now in PUBG Mobile, bullet penetration. Now when that pesky enemy is crouching behind the wall trying to sneak off a med kit, you can just take him out by firing directly at the wall itself. Avoid the new demolition zone at all costs, because if you get caught, you can kiss yourself goodbye as everything inside the dark purple circle is destroyed. And that includes the buildings. Outlast all 64 players and get that winner winner chicken dinner. Don't miss out on PUBG Mobile's most dynamic battle experience yet. We'll see you on the battlefield. So awesome, Karakid, man. I'm loving the new map. I don't know if you guys have had a chance to get blown up by the demolition zone, zone just yet, but I know I have. It's a little bit embarrassing, not going to lie. So many new things to dive into. We're going to see a whole ton of that during today's show, but let's go ahead and dive into the rules a little bit and talk about how we're going to keep score and all that kind of fun stuff. We're going to be playing five rounds today on Karakin. Again, 16 of your favorite creators are going to be the team captains. They're going to be able to earn points from both their kills as well as their placements, and you guys going to have an opportunity to fill out their squads. And without uh, further ado, let's throw up a room code and ID on the screen right now. You guys can see that uh, on the screen is 329-2855. The password is 1212. Make sure you guys load up and see if you guys can you know, get a game with some of your favorite creators and uh, maybe you'll be featured on stream today. Who knows? That all being said, guys, uh, again, super excited to see kind of how things roll out during today's action. And one of the things that I'm incredibly excited for is you to meet who we are actually featuring here today as far as our content creators. So let's go ahead and meet them right now and see who we're playing with today. Metalcore. Hot Jukes. Her Gaming. Jacob Gaming Winsanity The Bushka Ace Lawrence Dab Plays WPGN Bella Fox Farouk Kazoo Lou Power Alucard V2 Mats in Life Dex Stroger Incredible stuff here. Let's talk about the scoring for today's tournament. We got the 16 team captains each earning points today. Again, we're going to be pushing to see who is the conqueror of Karakin, the ultimate winner here, the chicken dinner. And you're going to be able to get one point per kill today. So that's one way to score points. And another is through placement. So in first place, you're going to be able to receive 15 points per game. Second place is going to receive 12 points. Third place will receive 10 points all the way down through 10th place. You'll be able to receive points in some way or another. If you don't finish in the top 10, however, well, you're going to get a big goose egg for that particular round. Speaking of the prizes for today's tournament, though, 
First place is walking away with a whopping 24,000. You see, they're going to be able to give that away to their fans and their viewers. So make sure you guys are following all of the creators featured here today. Go drop them a subscription, and uh, you never know who's going to win here. And then the MVP of today's tournament, the person with the most kills, is going to be receiving 16 thousand you see so an incredible amount of in-game currency going out today really really excited about this one guys we are pretty much loaded up ready to go we know the prizes we know the scores we know the rules let's go hot head and hop in to game number one karakin and the players are already out on the battlefield here we go let me know in the chat who you guys uh, are liking for today's tournament who's gonna win is it gonna be one of our latin american creators as it has been in the past, or are we going to see somebody new this time around? Let's go ahead and let me know in the chat. One shot man, as you'll see here, this is Ace Lawrence. He's got a little bit different of an in game name, but he's leading his squad to a remote location, preferring not to go with the hot drop here. Hero, Torres, and uh, the other guy there with Ace Lawrence, they're going to get looted up. And see what they can do. Now, Mads and Life, an interesting drop here. They land a good 150 meters from any, any structure at all. Looking around for some loot. You can hear the uh, Spanish language creator here. These guys have been a dominant force in past competitions. So they are going to be looting up, trying to take over other squads here on their way up the leaderboard. Got Dick Stroger as well. He's rocking that original X suit from PUBG Mobile. Have you guys seen that new Blood Raven X suit? Woo wee! That thing's looking pretty good. Shots already fired across the map here. You can kind of hear him breaking out. Dab plays knocked by Lou Power. Let's see if we can go over to Lou's view here. Lou Power brutalizing Dab plays. That is unfortunate. You can see the uh, the brand new sticky bomb opening up the wall there for Lou Power and friends. They're going to be able to go ahead and loot the uh, the compound here. One team, it looks like, off the board so far. I believe that's Dab Plays' team meeting an unfortunate end. As you can see across the map, Fake Jacob getting into it right now as well. We've got uh, Dex Froger back up on the hill. Love the vantage point here, up on top. He's getting shot from range, and look at that. Dex Droger taken down by Joker. They're in trouble. When Sanity knocked elsewhere on the map as well. See a lot of big names going down early here. Joker finishing off Maldonado up top. Farouk Ahmad getting into the action as well. So things are definitely a little bit chaotic, and Dex Droger eliminated early here in round number one. Unfortunate news for him. Her gaming and her squad right down in the valley here so they definitely hear what's going on but one of the things to keep your head on a swivel here on Kerrigan it's so important because as you can see you've got people at all angles looking down and high ground is crucial Miss Queen taking down an opponent on that far ridge there good stuff she sneaks up behind separated from the squad but the flank actually worked out pretty well we've already dropped two teams off of the leaderboard so far and we're sitting with just 14 remaining here, just moments into the first round of the day on Garrigan. Riding along with Kazu now. He's got an enemy marked right in front of him, about 100 meters away. He's trying to communicate that to his squad. He's got him a little bit penned here. Got a nice aerial view. You can hear the shots ringing out all over the map. We got the Bushka taken down somebody as well. Is Bushka getting into it early. Kazu peeking across yes, the, the way here. Looking for where that might be. See somebody peeking over the side of the wall. Kazu connects. Not enough to get the knock. They do pick up the one, one player down. They don't know if there's a teammate there. And as they push in, they might be running up against Ace Lawrence and his buddies. Sound of the Tommy gun blares out, and here comes the push. Not in a great position is Ains Lawrence. Kazu comes around, clips him, and just like that, it's a squad wipe. Kazu picking up the triple. Gotta love it. Great push there from Kazu and his squad. 
getting the finish there. Ace Lawrence is unable to get anything going early on in this one. Moving over to Metalcore. You can see Metalcore peeking from the high ground. That's where you want to be. The first zone has yet to come in. The whole map still in play at this point. It's like when Sanity has been taken out as well by Lou Power. When Sanity will take an early exit to this one. <laughs> Lou Power getting into this one. He's got his fifth kill of the game. Lou Power coming out strong in this one. It's incredible stuff. We've seen these guys many times before just absolutely take control in the uh, the tournament. And it, this time seems to be no different. It looks like uh, Lou Power is struggling a little bit on the connection. That's all good. We'll switch over to Metal Core. Metal Core lo lobs some shots up the hill. He's given up the high ground and is rotating around. Unfortunately, unable to connect there with the 2x scope from range. Definitely sees somebody up there. Her gaming also sees someone, I believe, might have knocked the same target here. But Metalcore's teammate here, it looks like they've got one player left in. I like Alucard's, uh, you know, his position down here in the compound. Again, if he gets the circle, could be interesting. But, uh, you know, on Karakin, it's really important to have the... <laughs> have the high ground. I can't express that enough. We'll see that as today's competition goes on. Got her gaming up there, taking a peek down. We got 11 teams left in this one. Taking a peek over to Alucard. Still with all four members up. Again, they have this compound, and it's, it's definitely a risk when you push out from any compound towards the cliffs because the cliffs are the place to be it's where you have the cover it's where you have that high ground and that visibility but just to get there very very difficult stuff indeed awesome as we uh continue on with our action today guys remember to stay tuned for the winners of our screenshot video clip contest for the character and conqueror we'll be announcing that over the course of today's stream so again, make sure you guys stick around sí, and remember to see who won their share of 128,000 UC. It's not a lot of health there for Matt's alive. He's still alive, but he's got himself patched up. There's changing scopes around. They look to be pretty well geared here, except for this man. He could definitely use a helmet at this point. He's he's missing a hat. See fake Jacob off in the distance there. That's Jacob Gaming. You can find him over on YouTube. Oh, well, a Talented player taking folks out left and right. We've got her gaming. Look at that outfit, though. That Blood Raven X suit. We've got crows flying around or ravens. Pretty incredible stuff. we got Lu Power getting a kill as well, taking down M416. Here are the bunkers. You can see some interesting strategy at play here with Jacob Gaming. These guys are going down in the bunker system, kind of waiting a little bit. Taking a look at our map. You see Kazu looking down into the distance here. Still waiting for that circle to come in. Everything kind of still in play at this point. Shots being fired for sure. Looks like the orange shot's firing down from, uh, from the top of the hill. It's funny, as uh, Jacob and his squad look out the window, that statue across the way definitely looks like a real person. It's catching my eye many different times. I'd be shooting at that if it were me. So her gaming taking some damage up on the top of the hill. You can see them damaged up right now, trying to hide behind the rocks for cover. And we are uh, thinning out the remaining amount of teams so far. It's like we have 37 players left alive so far. And it looks like these guys are definitely playing uh, playing it safe. They're going for that, that UC prize and the Karakin Conqueror trophy. So I'm really excited to see who's ultimately going to come out on top here. So it looks like her gaming on the rotation. You can see the blue zone starting to come in from the distance. No kills yet to her name, but she's still alive here with the full squad. So that's going to be really important as this game progresses. One of the highest points on the map right here, too. This, this visibility is great. 
She's looking down into Alucard and his squad who are occupying the compound. Good split here, but also a risky one. You can see Femtrex OP down there on that far flank. That's going to be an interesting one. Queen peeking up over the rocks as well. Alucard still trying to get a line of sight on somebody. 505 picking up a kill there on Femprex. That's exactly what I was worried about with that one player off on the flank. Now her gaming and her squad has no way to get down to them without really exposing themselves. That's going to be really, really difficult to get that person back up, but we'll see. Taking a peek at the battlefield here. Looks like Fake Jacobs got a good spread right now. They are very, very wide. And Alucard, oh, unfortunately, takes down her gaming. Trying to get down there to Femtrex. And it uh, looks like Miss Queen might be able to get her back up. We'll see. There's Miss Queen. And she's going to go ahead and try to get back up her gaming. Take a peek up onto the hill. You can see that one shack they have for cover. Fake Boss taking down someone at range there. See uh, Frost taking down her. Once again, that was a, a really quick knock right after Miss Queen got her back in the fight. And unfortunately, her gaming back down to a crouching position. One of the things I'm noticing here is a, a lot of players are not rocking helmets at this place, at this point in the game. Now you can see Frost taking down Queen and Joker Pate taking down her. Yeah. And this is really trouble for her gaming squad. This is just, this is just not it. She says no it's meds. not it. No, it's not. They have <laughs> found a rock. <laughs> Yo, have a week. No meds for her gaming, she says. Absolutely nothing to heal herself up with. So they're getting back in the fight. Unfortunately, they've got about three HP. And that is uh, obviously a bit of a challenge. Taking a look at the next zone coming in. You can kind of see that map. All the teams are kind of... Moving to the center, but they still have room to work with. Taking a look over here at Lou Power once again. I need consumables. Teammates are being very demanding. Demanding consumables. Lou Power, you better hook them up, man. Alucard and his squad have picked up the, the supply drop, which is going to be a nice set of level three armor. One of their uh, uh, members has been taken down. Joker, who picked up a nice kill earlier on her gaming. Well, unfortunately, that's going to do it for him. And it uh, looks like Alucard squad down to three. Back over with Lou. This man's rocking seven kills so far. Must be that new Blood Raven X suit, man. I heard if you get that thing, your KD goes up by five. Taking a peek back over to Metalcore, playing cautiously. Hasn't gotten a kill yet, but they're playing for placement. Remember, guys, today you get points for kills. Lou Power's off to a, quite a start there, but also getting points for placement is just as good if you can be consistent. Hot Juice and his squad patrolling the middle of the terrain here. Not on the high ground, kind of down in a valley here. We'll see if that comes back to bite him a little bit as we have both, uh, looks like, Farouk's squad as well as Alucard, kind of peeking down. Take a peek with uh, Farouk right now. He's got a heck of a nice haircut over there. Looking, looking sharp, Farouk. Got that black zone beginning right now. Not sure where on the map it's actually coming in, but I'm hoping to hit somebody. Call me morbid, but I, I'm hoping to see some Black Zone havoc today. It looks like it's up in Al-Habar at the moment, so not going to have uh, any threat to any players this time around. But look at the center of this map. Things are getting a little bit tense, and we have people starting to creep together uh, towards the center. Excited to see where the circle goes this next shift. This is going to kind of uh, definitely cause some action here. Shots fired over there by Faruka Mod Squad. Shots there by Farouk, and nice work. Gets a knock. Ares is able to hit, take him uh, down. 
Always lovely getting a getting a kill from one of your your fans that's playing with you. So nice work to Ares. Marked a location. So they're definitely aware of the presence here, and you can see over on the other side we got hot jukes. Looking good in those blue filtered shades. Ooh, baby. We still have deck zone. We could chill. Like, to be honest, we can He says we got zone, baby. We're chilling. So Hot Jukes and his squad have come up with a plan. They are going to stay put. They're just going to stay in those buildings. As you can see, they are being watched. Definitely aware that they're there, but at the same time, they're not super concerned. Peru squad all of a sudden in trouble. Hit from behind. See, Alucard is very, very close. Alucard pushes out. Half health here. A little bit of a dangerous play. The Groza picking up the kill. And just like that, he gets a second one. Brutal. Alucard, absolutely monstrous play there. And Farouk Ahmad taken down. And just like that. We are down another couple of players. 30 alive. 10 teams left in. Farouk Ahmad running short-handed at this point. We've got Metalcore squad here. Just one player left. Metalcore is uh, spectating his teammate right now. It's time, Evo. It's time to be a hero. I want you to go 1v30. Just knock everyone out. <laughs> Good try to Farouk, man. Farouk absolutely... Had that in the bag, and then, unfortunately, went up against the Groza. It's something you never want to see in close range. Ariel, cúrate. ¿Tienes curaciones? Va, va. Vamos a tener que comernos a estos que están aquí cerquitas. All right, so here comes the next zone. Avísame cuando estés listo. Alucard strategizing here. Immediately shot as he leaves his tunnel. Not sure where that one came from, but somebody had eyes on him. You can see Evo peeking in from a distance. Oh, doesn't quite land any, but that is okay. Ares take it down. Ariel gets the, the finish there. And Ariel, they trade. Ares goes down. Uzix goes down. And Alucard with the Groza. Oh, and Alucard got knocked by Hot Jukes. So, wow, some trading there for sure. Two squads doing battle with uh, Hot Jukes saying, I'll have the last laugh. He gets the finish there, and it looks like four players still up for Hot Jukes, and that decision to stay inside, stay covered actually paid off for him. Taking a quick listen in here, and we got Mats and Life peeking off into the distance. Ahí el cuatro está pillando posición. Marca mucho si vienen por ahí. What I'm seeing here from uh, from Matt's is he's got a 4x scope, which is pretty rare on this map. They've tuned the map to where it's more long-range rifle play. You're seeing a lot of red dots, twos, and three x's. Not a whole lot of 4x, six, and eights. And so to see four x's on a, a rifle here, it's a tremendous advantage here for Matt's and life in his squad. Says nice job, Bella Fox, taken down and eliminated. We're down to nine teams, ladies and gentlemen. 26 alive at this point. There's Bella Fox. Freshly eliminated. We just now get to see her, her face. She's going to be rooting on her team. She's got three more players going to try to get her to that finish line. Oh. They're still eligible for that chicken dinner. Nice try, nice try, dude. But it's looking tough. Let's come la zona. Matt seeing the zone's going to come in. He's got somebody pinned over there, but they're back to the blue zone, and that is not where you want to be. See Mojo Harry out there. See Neo X in the foreground as well, doing a little dance of some kind. Mojo Harry gets the return knock there on Ruben. Ruben needed to be put in his place a little bit, and uh, he's done just that. So Matt's in life and his squad on the ropes a little bit here, but they're still hanging tough. Love the cautious play here. You just never know where all of these people are playing from. Got a play zone knock early in this one. Hyun goes down to the play zone. Kazu working his way in from the south. You see got the clutch squad coming from the north. And we got a fight happening out of the play zone right now, which is uh, not exactly where you want to engage, but sometimes you just don't have a choice. Mojo Harry goes down after getting that fresh knock. 
He is eliminated by Ye Son. Alucard dropping a lot of loot on the ground here. Look at all those uh, magazines. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Metalcore squad eliminated. And just like that, Evo goes down. He was the last one. Sneaks into the dome there. And unfortunately eliminated. Got Alucard peeking off in the distance. Sees somebody on the top of the ridge. Bushka getting a finish. Bushka squad in trouble, though. They are one man down on the field at the moment. Going to try to get that revive. Here comes Bushka with the push. And he's knocked. That's a tough one. Lou Power gets finished from behind, though. Bushka's teammate, Frost, is going to pick him up. That was a wonderful one-two attack. Let's go over to Bella Fox's squad here. You can see Smokey really putting in the work down there in the underground tunnels. I love it. So, Smokey, nice work on the dance moves, my man. Good stuff. I think that's got to be a, a highlight for play of the day so far. Smokey down in the mines. Getting those underground bunker dance moves on. So Hachu's got a good spread here. Knows where somebody is, but doesn't really have the angle to engage. See where next zone goes. Again, they're looking for the zone, watching for that blue zone to creep in behind them. They're right on the edge, and it looks like they're going to play the edge on the way in. All right, Mats and Lice still strategizing with the team. It looks like we've got a... This is a tough spot to be in right here. You can see you're behind this rock, half health. Let's get a few bandages going, but like, what are you going to do? You get a whole squad pinning you down, and you've got a ton of open ground to cover. This is just incredibly realistic, but also incredibly unfortunate. The blue zone creeping in behind. He's going to have to make a decision here pretty shortly. His teammate, though, down in the underground bunker is just dancing away, so it's all good. There is the hard shift. Hot Juke's not excited about the zone placement here. So they're going to have to send it and try to get into zone. Kazu with a great position here behind the rock. Gets one knock, and he's firing shots up the hill as well. Smokey, though, on his way underground. He try to make it over to his teammate's position to get that revive. We'll see. Good shots here from range. Kazu picking up another kill. Difficult to control that 4X on the AK at that distance. You can hear the uh, the rip of Fake Jacobs, G36, across the map. He gets a finish and immediately gets knocked. Ryudo takes him down, and that is unfortunate. Neil X getting the finish on Fake Jacob, and they're down a member at this point. Hot juice in his squad pushing in. Matt's in life with the third party coming in and helping out. This is a tough one. Zone not being kind here. They got to move. There is nowhere to go. Hot Juice eliminated with this squad. Alucard with the Groza getting the finish there. Just nowhere to go there for Hot Juice. Got the unfortunate hard shift with the zone. We're down to the final three teams remaining. We've got the Bushka. Pushing his way in on the top of the ridge. I think he's got just one teammate remaining right now. We're about to see an engagement. Here he is, coming to the top of the ridge. Does he hear somebody? Yes, he sees somebody. Can he get the jump? That's the question. Oh, they're going to go. Same top. Great teamwork there from the Bushka. Picks up a knock, but just like that, able to return fire, get the knock and finish. And uh, beautifully done. Yason taken down. That is seven kills now for the Bushka. Good stuff all the way around here. We got Bushka with seven kills. They're still in uh, the very top of the leaderboard. And this is going to be a great placement for him starting things off. Alucard down the hill. The only remaining competitor. And he looks to be struggling with the health. I don't know if he'll be able to overcome Bushka and Frost working so great together. Look at this tandem. Incredible teamwork here. Chat, what do you think? Is it going to be the Bushka or will it be Alucard? So he sees them both. He's talking to himself. He's like, oh, pep, pep talk, baby. Alucard, it's time to get this. Vamos, baby. He sees them. If he can just get one knock from range, he can put a little pressure here. 
I don't know that the Bushka knows where he is. I don't think they do. So it's possible here that Alucard gets a knock and is able to, to actually 1v2 this. We'll have to wait and see. Here's the map. Alucard's got good vision here. Frost looking over the fence here. This is tough, guys. Alucard going to be forced out by zone here momentarily. You see he has to move to the map circle there to his left. So he's going to be uncovered in just a moment. And it looks like Bushka and Frost are going to push out to the rocks. Two of them both out. There they jump out. So still they have no idea at this point where Alucard is. Sticky bomb out. Wait for the music. There it is, and you hear that thing blow up. Lobbing it over. This is going to be challenging for sure, though, for Alucard. Both these guys together love going around the blue zone there, using it for uh, for cover. Oh, and he does. He oh, he does not pick up the knock. One HP. <laughs> this is the time, Alucard, when you can say he's one HP, and you're telling the truth, my man. Oh, Sticky no! Bomb comes in. Can he get the finish? No, he doesn't. Alucard doesn't quite get it. Insane. Absolutely insane finish there. Alucard taken down by Bushka and Frost. End round number one. Let's hear it in the chat for my man, Bushka. Incredible performance. Unbelievable stuff there all the way around. So really, really excited to see how that would worked out towards the end. I love their movement. Most notably for me was the teamwork between Bushka and Frost. Great stuff. Let's take a look at the scoreboard here for the first round. Look at the kills for squad number one. They're dropping loads of kills. Same thing with squads two. Oh, my gosh. So we have, it looks like Alucard in second place. We had Bushka in first, obviously. We had Matson Life taking third. Fake Jacob in fourth. We had Hot Jukes taking fifth place. Not many kills there, but great position all the way around. Bella Fox taking sixth. Kazu 7th, we had ourselves Lou Power in 8th, so a strong showing from all of the uh, Spanish-speaking creators. We had, uh, looks like ninth place Metalcore, Farouk in 10th place, and then from there on out, great stuff, man. We've, we're looking at her gaming in 11th. I, I found her on the top of that mountain to be, it was so sad, she kept getting third party, but it's all good. Taking a look at the overall leaderboard, would you look at that? We got ourselves a horse race, ladies and gentlemen. After just one round of play, we're looking at a score of 28 points overall for the Bushka, combining their placement and kills with Alucard closely in behind at 27. So incredible stuff there from those two. And it's a, it's a match to catch them all. So let's go ahead and take a look at the highlights from round number one as we uh, go ahead and recap what went on. See, Jacob, unfortunately, his squad getting taken advantage of here a little bit. This was the push from Hot Jukes trying to get into the zone. Ultimately, Alucard it was like, nah, man, this is my turf. And of course, we had the Bushka doing his thing with Frost. Great teamwork there. While Frost gets knocked, Bushka goes ahead and gets finished. So nice work all the way around to his team. And obviously, we saw the end there with the finish. And just like that. We are going to wrap game number one. It's time for game number two, ladies and gentlemen, though. If you like that action and you want to take part in it, now is the time. Check out the room ID and password on the screen. The ID, for those of you listening in, uh, is uh, just a moment ago. 350, we throw that back up on the screen. On the top, there we go. 350-0964. And the password, again, is 1212. So good stuff. That's going to remain on screen so you guys can go ahead and get loaded up. But as promised... I did tell you guys about the screenshot competition, the Carrick and Conqueror screenshot and video clip competition that's been going on for the past week. I want to check out some of the finalists. So let's go ahead and roll those screenshot finalists right now. On today's live stream, we'll be announcing the winners of the Carrick and Conqueror video clip and screenshot contest that's been live for the past week on social media. We'll be looking for the best video clip and screenshot submission. So let's start by announcing the 10 finalists for the screenshot category.
Some amazing entries for sure. We'll have to check back later in the show to see who's going to take our top three places. And also, we'll throw in a stat pick as well. Best of luck to all contest entries and stay tuned for the video clip finalists in just a bit. Watch your right side, watch your right side. Oh! Welcome to Game On Titans. Yeah, I got level three helmet. Gotcha. Oh. I'm your host, Sam Sam, and each week our players will compete in challenges designed to showcase their skill, style, and personality. <laughs> <laughs> All for the chance to win $25,000 and earn the title of Ultimate Titan. I'm just a built champion right here. I'm a win it all. They should be scared of me because I look better, I eat better, pretty much everything's better. You know what? I'm kind of interested to see how well I fare against the other competitors. I'm very sorry, but you're gonna get clapped. <laughs> I'm joined by fellow judge, mobile gaming legend, Power Bang. I am super excited to see what unfolds in this crazy competition. Let's go, ladies. Let's go. Let's go. I'll be judging based on technical skill and completion. And I'll specifically be looking for the mastery and the effortlessness in which they do so. Oh, and just like that, he's down. The top players will move on to the next episode, and the bottom two players will face off in an epic battle that will decide who stays in the game. Oh, no, Ali can down. And even though our competitors are ready to go head to head against each other, they're not ready for this. You are all competing in the elimination challenge this week. Oh. <laughs> oh, let's go. Don't miss the season premiere of Game on Titans. Incredible stuff all the way around from game number one. Did you guys see there's another show out on Amazon, Game On? Check it out, guys. Game On Titans. I'm starring in that one as well. And uh, some cool competition there, so check that out. And, man, game number one, insane. Big shout-outs to the Bushka. Big shout-outs to Matt's in Life, both of those guys. Uh, and Luke Power as well. All those guys coming in with insane kills for game number one. I'm really eager to see what is happening with game number two. We're just about ready to queue up game number two. And uh, just let me know when that's ready, production team, and we will hop in. Looks like we're, we're in. So we're on our way, playing, dropping people already. Al Habar, you are not ready for what's about to come to you. So Karakin, round number two, we're kicking it off. Can anyone catch... Alucard, can anyone catch the Bushka? My, my guess is yes. But what, what do you guys think of the chat? Let us know. Who do you expect to make a comeback and uh, find themselves in the top three? Who are we rooting for here today? This is an interesting one. We've got a couple squads going in. We've got ourselves uh, quite the squad challenge here early on in this one. It looks like uh, Ace Lawrence going to try to have a better showing. Picks up the Panzerfaust early. Sees a sniper rifle on the ground as well. Look at this city. Are you kidding me? Ace Lawrence getting the early kill on this one. Love the fact that he got a, an AK. You got to love that early on. So nice work there. Looks like her gaming taking down someone as well. So, fast start for some of the creators in this one. It's like we got Ace, we got her, and we got Bella Fox all in the same city. We'll see if uh, the girls can overpower here. There's a guy somewhere east. Smokey oh, down, trying to get picked up. Okay. I don't have meds for you, my friend. Oh, no. No meds here. Ace Lawrence says, nah, man. I got nothing. I'm sorry. It's too early. We, we ride along with Bella uh, Bella here early on. Look at that gun. That's a really cool skin on that one. You know me, getting distracted by gun skins. So each, you know, team here trying to, like, stake out a quadrant of the city and really kind of own it. And uh, everyone kind of in trouble so far. 
Good shots early from uh, Alucard. Taking down Matt's in life early and elsewhere, uh, other parts of the map. That is, uh, that is an interesting one. I'm sure they'll have words about it after the tournament. Oh no. no! Ace Lawrence taking down oh, Bella. No, no, no. Almost got to cover, but oh, no. just unfortunate. Bella Fox and her squad go down early in this one. Ace Lawrence, you savage. Leave the girls alone, my man. What are you doing over there? Ace Lawrence getting the squad wipe. Nice work, but now he still has her gaming to contend with, and she is bringing that Blood Raven X suit and a Tommy gun. Location. Nice knock there from one shot man once again, which is Ace Lawrence. They lose a member, and it looks like her gaming and, and company are down to two. Her pushing around, doing the dance here. Good shots in from behind. They're getting a third party assistance from Kazu up on the hill. Molotov thrown. Doesn't connect. Man, this is an interesting fight with Kazu now on the hill. You can see chaps in the chat saying, another back team, up. another team. Back up, back up, back up. So Kazu has worked his way down. They're going for the frags here. That's trying to get those kill points here to push themselves up the leaderboard. Kazu's not messing around. Good throw of the sticky bomb to the roof. We'll see if that opens up a nice plan of attack here. The new sticky bombs. Really, really cool uh, new feature on PUBG Mobile's new Karakin update. Ace Lawrence off by himself now. Kazu, they smell blood in the water here. They are going for it. Full send, they call it. Okay. Right along with Ace, he's uh, chilling by himself. He's just got his team now. And look at that, straight out. Gets the finish, and wow, big stuff there from Ace. But they are not going to let him rest. And just like that. One shot, man's down. So Rockley takes a seat, and it uh, looks like Ace will be eliminated. His squad is gone, but yeah, the action's not over yet because now her gaming smells blood in the water, and they are pushing on to Kazoo's squad. Can they get the finish? This might be their only chance to do so, and it looks like they've run into a dead end here. The ability or the lack thereof windows. <laughs> She's trying to get into the window. Can't find one. <laughs> yeah, that we might Gotta love it. Good shots early. Her gaming connects actually might be able to save her teammate. Chooses not to. This is a tough one here. Which squad is going to commit and actually take ownership of this building and stake their claim? Those shoes. Uh, you know what? Does that I man have feet? I don't want to say hello. I want to leave. Oh, window. Her gaming making the decision to retreat. She says, I want to keep playing. I'm going to leave. But you know what? I don't think it's going to be that easy. Kazu, still smelling blood in the water. He's uh, he's on the offensive here. Her gaming pushes out from the city. You can see we've got Barca here up north. A little bit of uh, engagement there as well. Tremenda, tremenda, igual, tremenda, papá. Hot tremenda, tremenda. Jukes again with Lou Power. Lou Power taken oh, down this time. Will Hot Jukes have his revenge? We'll see if uh we'll see if he can get picked back up. He gets knocked, but the trade works out. Ultimately, all four members, Hot Jukes and Spoli, should be back into the fight here shortly. Like where they're like where they're at so far. Picked up a few kills and Lou Power having to sit this one out on the sidelines. We got Dab plays rocking the crossbow. He's looking for the clips. He's like, I don't know about this placement stuff, but I bet I can get a cool crossbow shot. Lots of sniper rifles down here in the underground bunker. So if you're looking for that long range stuff, maybe uh, take some sticky bombs, open up those tunnels and go check out the underground bunkers. Good loot for sure. Now we're taking a look at, uh, I believe this is Barca here, looking up at the mountains. We've got uh, players on two different sides right now. Good marks there. It's like we got Destroger pointing out uh, where the enemies are, and they are flanking around hard down to the beach. And it looks like it's Winsanity. All right, I see some more people. I think they're running back. 
in my field. He says he thinks they're running back, and uh, he may or may not be right here. Good aerial view to actually confirm that. Look at Wynn and his team. They've got uh, good position on the beach behind the rocks, and they're advancing slowly. They're playing this aggressively without much cover. Together. I'm going to move in slow. Okay. Fake Jacob taking down dab plays, finishing dab plays, and that'll be it for dab for this second game. You can rush that. Insta. Ah, uh, good shot right there, and that's the finish. Squad wipe taken down for Jacob. Jacob gaming five kills so far. They're off to a roaring start, and I will say, Jacob had a pretty good game number one, so is he going to be one of the teams to, to creep up that leaderboard? We'll have to wait and see. Unparalleled from Wind Squad, I believe, taken down. Nope, it looks like Wind Squad fully intact, but it looks like they might have a distraction and a good chance to move into the city. Otherwise, left unoccupied to Stroger. So, Dex Stroger patching himself up. You can see the demolition zone is here. We've got ourselves our first black zone on a squad. So, Dex Stroger is going to have to move out, but no, they are moving in. And just like that, he's taken down and has to move into the black zone. This is just a perilous spot to be. You don't want to be here. And then when Sanity cruising in with his squad from behind, they got quite the sandwich going on. And look at that. The finish onto Dextroger. I don't know if that's the squad wipe, but it's not looking good for Dextroger's squad. There's the black zone. You can see those buildings being leveled right in front of our eyes. I feel like there were more shots. Were there, were there not? Win. I think you're onto something, my friend. Win takes down WPGN up on the hill. He says, I feel like there was more shots. And then immediately puts somebody down to their knees. All right. So WPGN and his squad up on the hill looking down into the city. Yeah, are we going to see a push here before they have a chance to regroup? But I don't know. It looks like WPGN, all of their team members are coming back to the high ground. And this is going to be an interesting one for sure. Zone is hard shifted away to the east. Most of the teams have some running to do. Only a few are actually in the circle right now. It looks like fake Jacob, though, with the commanding position gatekeeping. Everyone in Barca here. Uh, so he's got an opportunity to get even more so kills at this point. Crazy pressure. Wind turns and fires, connects, but doesn't quite get the finish. Good job. We'll go back to that fight, and just like that, you see him pick up another one. They do trade a little bit here. We'll see how bad this first blue zone hurts, and it looks like he's going to be able to get up and get his teammate back into the fight. Alpha over there on the side. I wonder if... Uh, I, I believe they know he's there. That's the guy they were just fighting, so we'll see how he's going to get back into this one. It doesn't look like he has any meds, just the boosts. Alpha choosing to rotate away here, and it looks like Dick Stroger's team still in it for now. So he's clinging to that placement. Probs? Okay. And they spotted him. They have marked Alpha, and they are hunting him. Look at this. It's 4v1. Alpha going through the city. But I don't expect him to last long. We got Farouk Ahmad looking off into the distance, firing out, and he connects? Or no, he misses. Doesn't quite get the shots um, off that he wanted to there. When Sanity now being gate kept as expected, it looks like Alucard in the way at this point in time. Win knowing they're in a bit of trouble at this point. Good shots there. Alucard knocked. This is the time to move. Ahmad taking down uh, one of fake Jacob's teammates. So everybody's knocking everybody right now. Lots of shots being traded back and forth here. Taking a peek over to Farouk Ahmad's squad here. They've got the locations marked, but again, you can dip down into those bunkers and use that underground system to potentially escape danger. So we'll keep an eye on it. Alpha appears to have done just that and has gone underground. Dextroger's squad lives on. Eight teams alive, currently only 22 players left on the map. When Sanity holding strong for his squad, he's the only member left up. And it looks like we've got uh, Alucard trying to keep that spot locked down here. Nice shot there from Wynn, gets the kill. He's going to try to make it to zone at this point. 
unknown what lies above the ridge, though. And it looks like he's going to make it in for now. Faruka Mod running with his team, jumping through the uh, terrain here, and they're pushing up on Alpha's location. We got an engagement, ladies and gentlemen. Enemies ahead. Right along with Farouk. He hears him, he marks it, and communicating with that team. Got Jacob in action as well. Taking on multiple teammates at, or multiple enemies at range. Oh, stop shooting. Because we're wasting our bolts and our heals. And we're not, if we get a knock, we can't rush that. Great strategy there from Jacob. You guys heard. Uh, you can't rush that. There's, I mean, you're basically just wasting bullets and ammo at this point. Maybe damaging some armor, but ultimately he's going to try to conserve for later on in the game. He's got a lot of kills to his name so far already, so I gotta, gotta, gotta believe the man. A mod taken down. Alpha comes out of the tunnels and gets the kill. Immediately taken down, uh, just in return, they do a trade, but unfortunately that trade will remove Dick Stroger's squad from the game. And they are officially out of it, so Fake Jacob taking up a position on the high ground there on the hills, looking down. And as you can see, Hot Jukes once again occupying the compound. Choosing to play it a little bit safe here, but ultimately not a lot of uh, compounds in existence on yeah. Karakin at all. So also guy in this hill peeking us. Nice work from Hot Juice to secure that uh, that compound. Yeah, don't bother shooting. Fake Jacob ordering that his teammates hold their shots. Huh. The dodges. We're not able to connect. He's got to run. This yeah, zone's going to hurt. Gonna I went around the, He's uh, done. Third party from the other angle, and just like that, win squad eliminated. Else. They will take sixth place overall, though, so not a terrible finish by any means. But uh, Hot Jukes and his squad sees him coming in, and there was just nothing he could do. Still rocking no kills here for Hot Jukes, but that's okay. Fake Jacob knocked in return. He was saying, hold the fire, but unfortunately... Maybe he held it a bit too long. Jacob knocked out of the game and finished. Right along with the Bushka, who is still in. And that is notable because Bushka is our round one leader. Still in the game, racking up the kills. He's got one so far, but hey, he's still in, racking up the placement. Once again, working from the high ground. Incredibly important stuff here. All four members up. Four teams left to go. Looks like we have Bushka, Fake Jacob, Hot Jukes, and Kazoo. Kazoo picking up a knock. He's been on fire today with the rifle play. Absolutely on fire. Shots from distance there again. Kazoo laying prone, getting that. Lowered recoil with the M4, spraying from range, picking up one. Gets the headshot there. And nice shot once again. Looks like he has one of his teammates go down. We'll have to pick him up. So again, like Jacob was warning about, they are trading a little bit from range. Obviously, they can't get the finish here, but that's all right. Hot Jukes at the, at the high ground along with the Bushka. So they are looking down on the two other squads. And so we'll, we'll remain to see which one of those ultimately reigns supreme. Could be one of the low ground teams as well. Good visibility here from Hot Jukes looking across the way. I think both him and Bushka, they definitely see each other and aren't willing to really commit here. Just some pot shots kind of going back and forth. Got one knocked here for the Bushka. Take some damage from down in the city. We got zone. Nice. Hot Jukes blessed with the zone. So they're pretty happy with that. They aren't going to, uh, to move from this spot, it looks like. They're going to hold. But it also looks like the Bushka could potentially have zone as well. Those guys across, 
More ammo recognition here. Good comms by the, the squad leaders here. He says don't shoot, but then just rips a whole clip. <laughs> Shots just coming in from range right now. And the unfortunate knock just peaked that far too long. Can't be a hero on that one. Just way too far behind. And now we've got a close quarter battle just about to occur with Bushka up on the top of this hill. Can Hot Jukes and Squad connect with the Bushka and make it really, really difficult? Still have four teams alive. Vying for those top three placement points. Ooh, good knock there. Kazu, that's the one you wanted to knock as well. This man's got a real good aim so far today. And Kazu on the ground in the blue zone. And he is in serious, serious trouble. Good knock here from Hot Jukes' squad. That is crazy. All right, let's go zone. All right, zone has shifted. They got to go over to the Bushka. But the Bushka is otherwise occupied. Let's see. Play zone doing work. Broccoli goes down. Kazu goes down. I believe Kazu has been eliminated here. We got to get a smoke out. They are going to need some smokes. They've lost a player. Looks like the Bushka has taken down Neil X. Coming in on the final for this one. Three teams remain. Looks like fake Jacob's team, I believe. We've got the Bushka and Hot Jukes. I need Can you get me, Lucas? No, you're up there. Bushka takes down Hot Jukes. Oh, no. The Molly lights his team on fire. No! Jacob, what are you training these kids to do? Good fire back here from Jacob's teammate, but oh my goodness. There's nothing like being under pressure by a full squad. You're just like, you know what? I've had enough. Throwing the molly at our feet. We're going out like this. Well, that's distracted them long enough to have hot jukes be able to get into safety. They have three members in the compound below. Zone coming in. It's squishing everybody. Look at this vertical play zone. This is Karakin, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we want to see. Bushka down with the M4. Bushka's in trouble, but he's made another top three. Two in a row so far. Cheddar getting the knock. Hotchuk's team being helped out tremendously here. Two down for the Bushka squad. Oh, no. No one chooses to push. Three members down for Bushka's squad. And just like that, Cheddar gets the finish. Fake Jacob. What kind of steroids you got your teammates on over there? They don't uh, they have no quit in them. This is incredible. Good stuff. Okay. He gets another kill. Hot juice gets a knock on Reaper. Good job, Cheddar. And during the rotation, just like that, fake Jacob taking down. Hot juice getting the kill. And just like that. We have ourselves a champion. Hot Jukes taking the win in round number two. That was an incredible finish. I absolutely loved that ending zone. I haven't actually seen one like that where the final circle got so small and it was like a sheer cliff right in the middle. Great stuff from all of the teams. Cannot wait to take a look at the scoreboard and see kind of how that round kind of finished out. Good stuff though. I want to, I want to give a shout out to Fake Jacob and his teammates, man. Fake Jacob went down. But man, his teammates, Cheddar specifically, coming in hot with those kills towards the end. Super clutch. Hot Juice getting the uh, the top spot here in game number two. We had the Bushka taking home second place. That's a top two finish two times in a row now for the Bushka. We had Fake Jacob in squad, uh, spot number three. Ahmad, Farouk Ahmad in spot number four. Fifth place. We were looking at who was fifth place. Can't even tell, but let's go ahead and keep moving. Sixth place is Winsanity. We've got Dextroger in 7th in 8th place. We've got Alucard, Her Gaming in ninth. Man, ultimately, uh, we've seen a few familiar faces here. And as soon as we had that leaderboard up, we could go over and see kind of how this is getting tallied. Incredible so far. we got WPGN. I love the fight that he had with Winsanity over there by uh, uh, Barca here, I believe it was. But Bushka, my man, coming in with a performance. He has 
vaulted himself all the way out to 54 points total right now, picking up some kills, but more importantly, finishing in the top two, two games in a row. Bushka taking a strong lead so far in this one. We've got Hot Jukes with 38 points, as well as two other teams, Alucard with 38, Jacob Gaming with 38. So incredible stuff there. That was uh, really interesting to see. After two rounds, we have a three-way tie for second. Kazu finishing out uh, number five there. And we'll go ahead and take a look at a few highlights from round number two. Shots at range here was the name of the, the game. Lots of high ground rifle battles going back and forth. Some nice aerial play here. When Sanity had a great showing here, but ultimately had that zone hard shift and met the uh, the Hachu squad there to take him out. Kazu, though, with the, the brilliant aim all tournament long so far has really been a standout for me. Hachuk's uh, putting some some lead down range there for sure. They get that pickup, and here is the Bushka taking down uh, Hachuk's, not able to get that finish. And <laughs> there's the Molly I was talking about. That's the one where oh, almost clutch, but but just not quite. So you know, we'll we'll take it, we'll take it. So uh, wh what can I say? We like the play here from Cheddar though, picking up that clutch one-two piece there, and then moving into the very last part of the game. We had ourselves that uh, that big battle going on where Hot Jukes and his squad ultimately prevailed. Here's game number three, guys. It's on screen now. Room ID is 3569767. The password is 1212. So I'm going to keep that on the screen for you guys to enter in. We'll load up our third match on Karakin. Again, you'll be able to join up with your favorite creators. Just hop onto their team gonna have a blast today but i showed you guys the screenshot winners a little bit earlier from the screenshot uh contest that we were running the carrick and conquer screenshot contest i want to show you the winners so let's go ahead and uh queue up the winners right now we looked at the Carrick and Conqueror screenshot contest finalists just a bit ago, and it's now time to look at the top five finalists for the video clip category in no particular order here are your finalists Make it. Oh, his friend's coming down. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. Squad wipe. Go. Those were some amazing video clip submissions. I know I have my personal favorite, and I'm sure you do too as well. Feel free to let us know what that is in the chat, and we'll be announcing the winners of the Carrick and Conqueror video clip contest in just a little while. So make sure you keep it locked, and I think we've got another game to get to in just a few. This is a brand new map. A lot of us don't know every single detail about the map like we do Orangle. Learn the map first, and that's my biggest tip. Uno de mis consejos que te puedo dar es que no entres a, los, a, a las ciudades de Karakin, porque es muy difícil salir, ¿sabes? Y porque te puedes encontrar a muchos snipers ya en la montaña. I would say stay edge of zone to at least mitigate the possibility of a third party coming up from behind you. That way you can keep your sights set straight ahead. One of my top tips for Karakin is making sure you get a 3x scope as soon as possible. There's so many crazy long range fights across the mountains and hills that you definitely need some high powered optics in order to hit your shots. Sobre todo intentar ir lo más rápido posible al centro para pillar las zonas con más altura, ya que el estar en el sitio más alto es donde más ventaja tienes en este mapa. Si ves que tienes poco loot, los túneles son una buena opción. 
Ahí siempre encontrarás lo que buscas. Tips for Karakin. You know, in this map, especially in mid game, you have to check your surroundings whenever you get the chance. My top tip for Karakin would be if you ever shoot your gun, make sure you do a 360 around and look for third parties because they are going to be coming for you. Always be in motion. If you're standing still, you can easily get third party. Primeramente, si aún no conocen mucho el mapa, les recomiendo que te caigan en diferentes grupitos de casa y no en las ciudades grandes que caen de 2 a 3 squad para luchar tranquilos y ahí ya estar equipados para la guerra. Honestly, just watch your back. You're going to be getting shot at from all directions. It honestly doesn't matter where you're at since you're probably all moving toward the center anyways. My favorite tip for Karakan is always have extra molly and the smoke. Smoke and Molly are your best friend in Karakan map. Get a good view on every, where everyone is and rotates, flanks, and third parties. Don't always assume that someone's not behind you because chances are they've rotated and they're right there behind you. I'm uh, still giggling about that Molotov cocktail, man. It's, there's nothing like literally spiking a Molotov at your feet and just saying YOLO, you know, just kind of rocking it. So, yeah, we were loading up game number three, guys. Thank you so much for your participation today. Super excited to see who's going to win this tournament and ultimately the grand prize at the end. Remember to subscribe to all of our creators today that are part of this show because they're going to have some awesome prizes for you. Taking a peek at the overall leaderboard once again, you got the Bushka way out in front. 54 points, man. Nice work so far, but hey, we're only two out of five games right now, so you got to keep this, this pace up uh, throughout the uh, the remainder. We got Hot Juice, Alucard, Jacob Gaming, all dropping some good points so far. Again, first place on the line, a big, nice trophy. Carrick and Conquer trophy to go on the set, and then 24,000 you see to give out to the audience. Of course, top kills of the day is going to be getting that MVP with some additional bonus you see to give out to their audience as well. We're getting ready to queue up game number three, and uh, I'm excited. I, I like those video clip uh, finalists a little bit earlier as well. Uh, didn't quite see the screenshot finals. We'll, uh, the winners, we'll see those in just a bit. But to recap the rules one more time also, we've got ourselves five rounds of action today. Again, points coming out for placement and for kills. So if you're just tuning in, you want to rank high, and you want to frag out. That'll get the job done. And obviously, uh, you guys have the opportunity to hop in and play with your favorite creators that are part of today's roster. So really looking forward to getting all of you guys worked in. Keep your eyes peeled for those room codes uh, as they roll out after each and every game. We'll try to keep those uh, rolling for you guys. So keep, keep an eye on that. Looking forward to working you all in. And again, Stay tuned towards the remainder of this show as well as we have the winners from the Carrick and Conquer screenshot and video clip contest. Winners will be receiving a share of 128,000 UC. So incredible stuff all the way around from PUBG Mobile. Again, make sure you guys follow them on social media. You guys can follow them everywhere. PUBG Mobile is found at PUBG Mobile. And then obviously, if you haven't downloaded the game, definitely do so. It's one of the most dynamic and fun maps that I've seen in quite some time. Carrick here to play and i think we are getting ready for match number three we're going to be cutting to that here in just a moment be watching will it be bushka winning a game number three or is it going to be someone else here will it be one of our spanish-speaking creators i see alucard lou power sniffing the top of the ranks is it going to be hot jukes i don't know let us know in the chat if there's any underdogs out there that are going to come back and surprise us at this point is it going to be faruka mod is it going to be her gaming who are you guys rooting for let us know Good spread so far on the plane. A south to north run here. Al Habar is going to be inhabited by only one squad. So they're going to have a great advantage. Picking up a ton of loot early on in this one. 
Got ourselves Bella Fox landing at his compound unattended. Going to have a great overlook on Dab Place here in just a moment. We'll watch that fight as it develops. Lots of uh, action going on once again in Barca here. Fake Jacob out early with the kills again. Picks up the AK and already finishing someone off. Vinny Salvatier. <laughs> Good <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. It was nice having you play with us for a few seconds. Alucard picking up a kill as well. And uh, just like that, we've got some good action early. But Alucard, oh no, gets return fired. And he is going to be removed from the battlefield early. Our first creator to be taken down here. Not what he was hoping to do when he was sitting so good at the top of the leaderboard. Hopefully his squad mates will be able to carry as this match moves forward. Got Winsanity looting up. I love those brick walls in this building. They are kind of flimsy. You can shoot through them. Pretty cool new feature on Kerrigan. How many of you guys in chat, have you guys gotten a uh, kill through the wall yet? You know, the old classic wall bang. I've gotten a couple, and there's something about it that just feels so good. Bushka already in trouble, revives his teammate, but it seems like they've got things well in hand here. They're still on the push. I'm not sure what is going on down at the cargo ship here. It looks like we've got ourselves some real spread looting. And fake Jacob in the center of the map, a little bit in trouble. Having a little bit of a skirmish. Everyone on the coastal towns, except for fake Jacob in the center. Got the Bushka rocking a shotgun and a Panzerfaust. This man just really is ingenuitive with his weapon selection. Her we gaming, lobbing some shots down into the town. Before we get pinched from around every other direction. She basically nailed it. Every other direction is right. That's how it works on Kara. Can you fire a couple shots and people hear those? We got some trouble here early as well. Fake Jacob squad really trying to, to make it out of here. No one really fully geared or kitted just yet. And we've got we've got teammates down. Trying to make that revive, but it's just so dangerous with just a few HP, no armor, and uh, poor position. Honestly, her gaming is is really got the upper hand here. Let's listen in. No, Tony, what are you doing? Tony. <laughs> Tony, what are you doing? Clip it, chat. Okay. I want some Tony, what are you doing in chat right now? Her gaming. A bit of deja vu, I guess. You gotta revive him. You gotta teach him how it's done. He's over that side. No, not Her there. gaming, you know how it's done. You gotta show Tony. He needs some help. What? Nice. Good oh, shots awesome. from Hot Jukes, but the return what fire clips help? him. Right, Pops him with the headshot. Shakti taken down. But look at that. The squad wiped there. Hot Jukes with three kills already. He'll take the trade in that scenario every time they get the squad wipe. And just like that, Hot Jukes and squad out to a solid start to game number three. Guy on the backside. Fight still developing here. Bella Fox yeah. down in there. This is the fight that I was waiting to, to start from the very beginning. So we'll ride along with Bella. Dab plays takes down Hot Juice. You can hear the shots from just outside. I'm, uh, and we'll see if that third party is going to be too much for Hot Juice to handle. Hey, Bella, these bandages, holy cow. You got to find yourself a first aid, girl. Nice. For gaming, getting the finish on uh, Necro there. Nice. Dab plays, though, from the talks. It's shooting fish in a barrel up there. He doesn't get the finish on Bella. But he does get the knock. So he's going to look down there and see what he can figure out here. We'll ride along with Dab. Metalcore knocked somewhere else. And finished. Metalcore out. So Bella Fox will survive. Teammate in there to revive. Dab plays playing it pretty cautiously here. Oh my gosh. I am straight up one tap. Huh, what? Straight up one tap. Yep, pretty much. Looks like uh, Bella going to try to work her way out of this troublesome situation. Teammate bringing the bandages. You got to love it. Seems to be snowing where Bella's at, by the way. I am not sure where that's at, but hey, you got to love it. 
Looks like the squad's kind of moving in. Sticky bomb on the opening here for Dab Plays. This is going to be an interesting one. So good shot there. Tries to throw it inside. Looks like it's a little bit high here. Goes to throw it again. Misses somehow. Oh, no. And then gets knocked. Where was Dab's that gonna guy? going to retreat here. But this is, uh, this is a surprise for him. His squad is split, and uh, Bella Fox and her squad are just kind of chilling. That was his knock. That's Dab's squad. Yep, Dab, she knows. She's calling it out. They are surrounded, but they are split, so they could effectively take out one of Dab's members. And just like that, Dab's is down and out. 42 alive at this point. This is an interesting fight for sure. When Sanity taken down elsewhere. We'll see if he's able to get revived. Molotov Cocktail drops in and doesn't connect, but awfully scary there. We got Ace Lawrence. So he's holding a uh, 1984 RCA television set to play on. Thing's serious, dude. He's got cooling on that bad boy and everything. How many horsepower does that iPad have? That's insane. All right, Bushka off to another roaring start. Getting another kill here. Bushka didn't come to mess around today. It looks like Bella Fox does uh, get knocked once again. We'll see if she can stay in. Bushka marks. They are engaged here. Bella Fox really in a, in a tough spot. And check this out. There's a third party that's come in and started cleaning out Dab plays his squad. Stay tight. There's a guy up on the hill above uh, Bounty Hunter. Good calls here from Dab. Yeah, he sees them. Let's see if we can get this smoke. Uh, the shot yeah, yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, next you still. Yeah, there's still smoke. There's smoke over on the wall. When Sanity knocked and uh, believed got somebody that right was behind a finish. Us. Nice. You can get the finish. Brody says he's so low, don't peek. So Bella Fox somehow is staying alive with her squad, and as they oh, push wow. down, this is uh, this is really interesting. They are Everybody's just ahead. a benefit of the third parties no. at the moment. Maldonado knocked out. I mean, I'm gonna try and, and yet get another close. member from Ace Lawrence's squad, I believe. Look at the health on Bella Fox. She's gotta get she gotta get some. Something. Matt's in life knocked and finished, so he'll be sitting down. 34 alive. We made it about halfway through the lobby so far. We still have 10 teams up at this point. Lots of full squad wipes at uh, at this point in the game. So we'll keep an eye on that. Interesting fight, though, developing again between uh, Bella Fox and three different teams in that area, to be honest. Looks like we have another uh, fight brewing on the eastern side of the map. Oh, the jump finish attempt, and unfortunately, Tanner. He's like, nah, man. I ain't putting up with that. Ooh, the knock, though. Joker taken down. Matt's in life watching his teammate, and he's just hoping. We are really low. Good calls. Matt's in life busting out the English. Gotta love it. So here comes the push, and that's not what he wanted to see. Darsh, you tried to be a hero, my man. That's a little scary. Holy crap. Look at this. He jumps over into a pit of enemy players. Four on one. He's like, listen, if I stand in the center, maybe if I duck, you all shoot each other. I think that was the strategy there. Not a good one, but it was a strategy. It's down to, it looks like, who's it? Picado? Picado. Mm. Picado gets one knock, and he's finished. It's just like that Matt's in life. His squad will be out of here in 10th spot. That was a funny matchup, if you ask me. Hear the uh, the sounds of beautiful sticky bombs erupting from outside of the map. And we'll take a peek back at Ace Lawrence looking down into the city where Bella Fox and her squad are still hiding. 
Ace Lawrence looking down. We've got squad number Let's four as well, which is the remainder of Dab, Dab Plays' squad. You can see him looking on right now, trying to coach them. There's probably people like, on the cliff gosh, above, gotta... so like... It's basically yes. whoever leaves the house. <laughs> it's whoever leaves the house last, basically. So yeah, um, you guys, great, great calls from Dab right there. Very astute. There is somebody on the hill. Bella's not going anywhere with that HP. She's going to chill and try to ride this out and maybe... Hopefully, uh, she can go loot the corpses of Smokey and Concludo just uh, uh, across the way there. Maybe they've got some meds. I don't know. A little bit of a stalemate at this point. It looks like Bella Fox is moving out right now, right as they peeked down. So, I don't know. It's only going to take one shot here to, to knock her. So, she doesn't have any armor. Uh... No helmet. This really is dangerous for, for both squads here that are down there. Such good angles from Maldonado and uh, Ace Lawrence. Back in the building we go. Let's take a look at the map, too, and see where the zone is going uh, at this at this point in time. I'd love to take a peek and see if these guys are going to have to move. It does look like that zone's going to be creeping here in just a moment. That's going to be really interesting. Who is going to ultimately make, make it out? Now, Maldonado and Ace Lawrence, there's only two people there holding holding serve. And, uh, you know, it's a lot of folks down there in that little fishbowl to shoot at. So we'll see who's going to come out of that area alive. Other than that, uh, generally speaking, most teams kind of have their spots secured. And it's really this, this engagement right here is the main thing we're looking at. So it looks like Ace Lawrence rotating around. He's going to go try to get a different angle, probably closer to the play zone. So... Really smart as teams will have to come through them, but they also might be giving up on it, which is exactly what Bella Fox and Dab Plays the Squad needs. They are indeed going to zone. So Ace Lawrence says, I'm out. It was fun. We've got Dick Stroger. We'll ride along with him. Good position here. I love this compound up here. Great visibility in all different directions. You can see people leaving the cities and trying to make it to the high ground. Shots up the hill. That thing sounds absolutely mean. Sounds like the MK-14. Up the hill. PG says, nope, don't want none of that. I'm going to go the other way. You guys waiting for a squad? I, I, I don't see that, dude, so I can't provide much cover fire or nothing. Yeah, good comms here from WPGN. Can't provide any cover fire. It's just, it's really hard to push up these hills. And look at this, Bella Fox and her squad. They're actually pushing out successfully. She's stuck in the blue zone, though. Waited too long. Her teammates were able to make it up, and she, unfortunately, didn't quite make it. Now, let's see if her teammates go back to rescue her. That is not the move, by the way. They should definitely Did leave you? her to die. All I wanted was a vest and a helmet. Well, next next game. Good. Luckily, we're paying five. <laughs> Bella, you're gonna get that vest and helmet next game. I have, I have faith. G G now. Good shots there from one shot man. Around the back. Ace taking down uh the remainder of oh, Bella's squad, it looked like. So Bella's squad has to oh, eliminate him. No, they're here. Don't fight, don't fight, don't fight, don't fight, buddy. That was great covering fire, but that is not the time you want to be knocked oh, with the blue no. zone coming in. Ace Lawrence mm -hmm. taking some shots from the off angle. He was able to finish Bella's squad coming out of the the fishbowl, I'm going to call it. But unfortunately, they get caught by another squad who hears those shots come off. Let's see if Kazu still has that amazing Mucho aim. Espalda, Pushing up the hill. Playing that blue zone. They've got great position here. Zeus taking down Punk off in the distance. Lots of blue zone creeping uh, this time around. So this is an interesting one. I don't think this Do match is going to last quite as long.
Good look at the map there. You can see everyone trying to get to the zone. It keeps shifting away, and it's it's becoming a problem for a number of teams. They're starting to have to run through teams like Her Gaming, who are inside and waiting. She's got good angles here. I'm going to try and gatekeep him up a bit. Never mind. All right, he's oh, cool. a little too slow getting to that gatekeep. Kazu bringing out the A One and gets the knock on Her Gaming. She's safe for now, but let's see if her team can push up and get her revived. They're pushing up. Oh, rip. Yeah, there's no point fighting. Not looking good for her gaming. She's stuck, and her team is not able to get over there so far. Looks like uh, somebody's going to try. And Kazu's not going to push yet. Now they're starting. It looks like they were grouping up. Will he connect? Goes for the fire. Misses. I think he might have ran past. I'm pretty sure he ran past where her gaming was at. Now he sees him and gets the finish. Kazu ain't messing around with any of that. A couple of kills. Her gaming eliminated. And same with the squad mate that valiantly tried to get her back in the fight. Kazu really, really impressive so far with his gun skill. Another shot taken down from the ledge. Sundance taken down WPGN. We're down to seven teams pushing towards a, hopefully a non-blue zone finish. A lot of action in the blue so far. Here it is. We got Ace Lawrence creeping in. Kazu creeping in. And up on the top, we got a nice fight going uh, between Dextroger. And another squad. You can see Messi over there as part of it. Great spread on uh, Al Tap and his guys there. Bushka still in. He's been eliminated, but his team is still in. That's the important part. They're playing for placement here. Just trying for that consistency and keeping that ranking. Maldonado taking down I'll tap from the back. Bushka loses another. It's the curse of power bank coming to spectate you. Maldonado with a great pick there. Gets the kill, gets the finish. Ace Lawrence returns fire, gets the knock, and he's going to get a finish. Bushka's team getting picked apart all of a sudden. Another great uh, couple of knocks there from Messi. Or not messy, whichever way you want to look at it. And here is Maldonado. He's got all three of those guys right next to him. He's trying to keep a low profile, quite literally. Shots in. Kazu and squad knows he's there. I want to see a sticky bomb death. That's what I want to see. Ace Lawrence picking up another kill. Kazu not. He's trying to get picked back up by his teammate. Good pressure, even though he's got a few hit points left. Really playing the angles here. Kazu playing super aggressively. Going for the push. He's saying he's going on the right. And get the angle. Hard to say. He's got the angle on the right. Juan is trying to go to the left. Black zone begins now. Doesn't seem to be a danger. Midnight saying he's uh, glad he got to play with Bushka. Bushka having some, some chat and some banter. That's the name of the game, uh, fam. You guys just trying to play with your favorite creators. I absolutely love being able to open these up for the community. So make sure you keep an eye on the remainder of the stream. We've got a couple more opportunities for you guys to team up with your favorite content creators and get some games in. Who knows? We might be able to help them give away a bunch of PC to the community. Win a big trophy. You can say, I helped with that. Kazu on the rotation. Couple kills so far. Her gaming being one of them. I like the rotation here. He's going to snag that high ground, and he's going to keep Maldonado in one-shot man there. That's Ace Lawrence. 
from making it in. They're going to get stuck here between two squads, and I'm smelling smoke? trouble Enemy's here ahead. for Ace Lawrence. Smoke it. So his teammates are telling him to take placement, which means don't die. Easier said than done, teammate. Kazu picking up a kill on Salty. Ace actually makes it in. I'm I'm shocked at this point. Nobody up the hill saw him. And he was only enemies contending enemies with the one squad. Maldonado made it. He made it in. I don't think he's going to get off a heel, though. PGN's going to push him. So there is the peak. WPGN gets the finish. Lem died at Blue Good shots there, Maldonado taken down. Unfortunately, it looked like Kazu actually oh, picked call. up that finish from another angle. So Kazu picking up the free kill there. Gotta love that. We've got Farouk's squad up the hill here, taking down. Uh, looks like Dick Stroger. Dick Stroger gets a knock, but is return fired. Oh, Sundance takes him down. Kazu still in this one, and they are they are looking strong. Exchanging some meds, he's really got to get himself patched up. It looks like WPGN also holding this compound. I gotta do it. If you got another smoke, it'd be cool. He's got to smoke it. They're trying to get to the next building that's in the zone. They're trying to just make it across without being shot in the back. Oh, they got smoke. <laughs> PGA knows he they are uh, they are in a little bit of trouble here. He's trying to get to that other building. It looks like not messy has made it. Kazu has the angle. Sees WPGN. Oh, no, no. Juan taken down. No Ooh, AWM. That's not what you want to see. WPGN whips out the AWM, and all of a sudden, this is a different story here. Kazu says I'm not reviving. Would it is that gonna come back to haunt him? Oh Messi, tell me you have a grenade. Tell me you have a grenade. Oh, he smokes. He's just gotta get there, man. His team, this was uh I don't think they had vision on each other though either. Both squads just so vulnerable at this exact moment in time. Yeah, we're gonna. Talk about being pinned down. Like Lots of bullets raining into this building. One, one bullet. Footsteps right behind us, though. I'm in. PG gets into the building. Safety for now. They're going to try to defend, I think, against Kazu having to come down. The zone will be an issue here shortly. Good shot yeah, connects with the AWM. Good. Has one HP left. Zone's gonna start pushing, man. We are kept it so is. hard, bro. Fall back to safe zone. Yeah, I'm going, moving now. His team's telling him with the microphone, fall back to safe zone. Good movement, though. Oh, guy up close. Guy up top. Ooh, ooh, they got me, man. Good shot, but he jumps over the wall. Tanner with the Uzi. Can he get two in a row? Kazu on the third party. Trying to take advantage. Peacha gets knocked. Bob the Fish doing work. Kazu still at generally full health, but here comes a push from Sundance up the hill. Kazu having to defend. Okay, 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 okay. Here it is, and he gets knocked. No! Sundance getting the finish, and just like that, Kazu and his squad eliminated. Down to two. Not messy eliminated as well. WPGN taken down in second place, and just like that, we see ourselves with the winner, winner, chicken dinner. We'll have to check the, the statics here in just a moment for that round. Incredible stuff all the way around. We saw a couple of the top dogs kind of further extend their lead. I saw Bushka and his squad extending late into the match. So that's going to come in super handy. We also saw some other people, notably like Alucard. He's rocking all uh, the kill leaders so far with nine kills total. So let's go ahead and check out the, uh, the scoreboard here and see what happened with round number three. So here it is. We have ourselves a, a, a lovely Farouk-led squad for the top spot. We've got a WPGN in number two. 
We have uh, Kazu in number three. Dap plays as number four. We got Ace Lawrence rocking. Uh, it looks like Destroger number five. Ace Lawrence number six. We've got Bushka sitting in seventh. You got to love that. Her Gaming coming in number eight. And then we have ourselves Bella Fox ninth. Now, I got to give a tip of the cap to Bella Fox for surviving as long as she did with no health, no vest, no helmet, no nothing, but some pretty good teammates. So shout outs to Bella Fox. We got Madsen Life coming in 10th place, Win Sanity at 11th, Metalcore 12th, and we had Fake Jacob in 13th place. Hot Jukes in 14th, we got Lou Power in 15th, Alucard down in 16th. Now, Alucard finished last this time around, but he's got a bunch of kills to his name that hopefully will make up for it. He's rocking nine kills overall. Take a look at the leaderboard. Man, Bushka killing it. We got three games in the book, 76 points total. 56 for Kazoo. Kazoo has been really solid so far this time around. Hot Juke sitting in fourth. Jacob Gaming third. Skipped over him. 50 points for Jacob Gaming. I expect to see him kind of uh, absolutely kill it coming up here in just a moment. So really good stuff all the way around. Uh, some notables. Metalcore, we got to get you moving, bruvs. We got to get you on that board. Two points so far for Metalcore. We'll take a look at the highlights here from game number three. And it looks like her gaming in the spotlight once again she had a good showing there until she got caught by kazu so here we go we see her early on in the action got hot jukes this fight right here was the interesting one with dab plays just everyone kind of looking down into the city bella fox acting as bait with no armor no nothing and low hp ultimately a lot of people died at that spot matt's in life and his squad getting finished here at the, this rock had a great uh, attempt by his teammate though to dive into the entire uh, action we'll see that coming up here just right here unfortunately his teammates uh, Pequeto not able to finish it off Matt's in the life squad being eliminated good stuff all the way around though <laughs> you gotta love it Ace Lawrence interesting game from him just kind of got caught by the zone ultimately uh, had nowhere really to go and you know you just get caught on these hard shifts so while it pays to edge in at times oftentimes it can bite you in the butt you can see her gaming and teammate getting taken out here by Kazu, and then on the uh, the heels of the end of this game, we have uh, Kazu making the push up the up to the top, looking solid. And then Dextroger, kind of love the views on Kerrigan. such sweeping visibility across like the entire terrain. I love it, but so many places to hide at the same time. Good shots from PG here, keeping these guys gate kept. That's why that blue zone at your back is not your friend. Got the AWM shot, connects Chris, but knocks himself to one HP. And then we got the, the knock here, but also the jumping Uzi shot over the wall by Tanner. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. So we've got our next room code on the screen for you guys to hop in. Game number four is about to go live in just a few. The ID, 363-2190. The password is 1212. So... That is going to be your room code and ID. We'll leave it up on the screen until we get that bad boy filled, but we are going to be going into our next break. But before we do that, I want you guys to see the winners of the screenshot competition. We showed you the finalists the last time out with the video clips and the screenshots. We've got the winners of the screenshot coming up next. Let's go ahead and cue that up right now. Congratulations to all of our Carrick and Conqueror screenshot contest finalists, but it's time to announce our winner starting with third place. Congratulations to the submission from Argentina of an amazing parachute synchronized drop on top of a new building in Carrickan. Not every day you catch a shot like this. Congratulations on third place and 8,000 UC in prizes. Our second place Carrick and Conqueror screenshot winner hails from Mexico and has produced an amazing picture perfect landscape of PUBG Mobile's newest map. Check out Karakin and enjoy that 16,000 UC in prizes. And without further ado, the first place winner of our Karakin Conqueror screenshot contest from Guyana. Here is an amazing picture perfect first place entry. It's got color. It's got vegetation, which is sometimes hard to come by on Karakin. I'm not going to lie. But this entry right here has picked up first place and 
32,000 UC in prizes. Congratulations! We also have one final prize for screenshots as PUBG Mobile staff have made their pick, and this entry right here will be receiving 8,000 UC in prizes to take home as well. Congratulations to all contestants, and stay tuned for the video clip finals in just a bit. This week on Game On Titans, the competition starts to heat up. Anything can happen. I feel as if the competition may be closing in. I got this. I've been playing this game. I'm good. Then the Titans face their toughest challenge yet. Win a game without a vest, helmet, or backpack. Doing this is really difficult. In the end, another two Titans face elimination. Oh! Who will risk it all to stay in the game? Find out this week on Game On Titans. Round three was crazy, guys. What was your favorite moment? I think mine probably, well, it had to be Bella Fox somehow surviving for 20 minutes in a room with no vest, no helmet, no nothing, no health. I think a close second, though, had to be the jumping Uzi shot on WPGN. Sorry, you had to be on the uh, receiving end of that business. Let's go ahead and check the leaderboard, though, for the games so far. Bushka opening up a 20-point lead. Going into game number four, we're almost on the home stretch here. Kazu, though, catching him. He's at 56. He's had some great aves so far, and we are uh, getting ready to rock for game number four here. So let's go ahead and cut to the action. We've got game number four, Karakin, coming up right now. We've got a south to northwest plane path here and uh we've got a team going for the cargo ship i've been hoping to see that i'm hoping they get challenged though as we do have a team going down there to loot perhaps the compound i'm not quite sure bashara is wide open and it seems as if all of the teams have taken the central and kind of focusing like the north and eastern part of the maps what a mess up there. This is going to be really chaotic at the start. We've got Winsanity and the Bushka, two very talented content creators, doing battle early. Looks like Hadika Nemo is the place to be. Win is like, I'll take that uh, that shotgun. Maybe give I've me got a, a Panzer, Panzer. Faust. I'm gonna... <laughs> yeah, that's right. He's got the Panzer. He's getting ready to use that sucker. Needs to work on those fence climbing skills, though. That's for sure. All right. So both players kind of working their way around the outskirts of the city. They open up a building. And Bushka falls. Takes 10 damage. Nothing like uh, Panzerfaust. The, the rockets from those opening up these buildings. It just sounds eerie at this point in the game. Metalcore on the board, getting some kills. Look at him go in the kill feed. Metalcore taking down to Schroger, taking down Sundance. The man's on fire. We challenged him. He rose to the challenge. I'm loving what I'm seeing from Metalcore. More explosions. Taking the center parts of these cities is awfully challenging early on here because anybody that does risks getting, you know, kind of popped. Impressive. Going over to Metalcore right now. He's already got three kills to his name. He's already exceeded every other game combined so far. So nice work to Metal. 
He took he took my challenge and he ran with it, man. I'm I'm proud of this. Boy. I don't know whose team that was, but that was good, yeah. I mean, backpacks that was Dick Stroger's or team. Looks like Farouk Ahmad taken down by Matt's in life. So Farouk Wait, is eliminated early in this one. You need to be on the lookout for the Come third parties. The Come to me. Lots of good comms. Ooh, we got the hard shift to the west on this one. So all of the teams going to the east. It's going to be an interesting challenge. Try. I mean, look at that. Look at that eastern border of the zone. It's going to be hard fought over there. Bella Fox in between a bunch of teams once again. Those orange dots in the center of the map. She's got Alucard, the kill leader so far, sitting over there. This is going to be a challenge for all of those teams. You can see the Bushka moving in. Metalcore rocking that, that Blood Raven X suit. So part of the challenge of uh, looting these big cities is just making it to the mountains once you're done. And they have done just that. And they've noticed that they, uh, when Sanity has left the city in the other direction. So both teams successfully looting up. They respect each other's boundaries, loot their half of the city, and they exit with no major skirmish. I'm going to recommend, Matt's in life, that you pull out a weapon. That's just a light recommendation. Can you go down Está abierto esto, eh. No nos queda otra, okay. Seeing the other guys up on the hill, so he still he doesn't care about pulling out the weapon. That's for sure. He's like, listen, I'm just gonna run around and heal. Just be a bullet sponge. Fake Jacob up there firing off some shots. Looks like there's gonna be a push coming up as well. Potentially her gaming squad coming up the side of the mountain. Jacob Gaming has a good look. See somebody. He's gonna lay down some shots here. Don't give me a G36. I can't use this. <laughs> I don't have one. No. Okay. He says, Go "Nope, on. can't use the M4. Unusable." That's not a reaction that you often hear in PUBG Mobile. Most players are consistently uh, looking at the M4 as the go-to rifle. We're going underground here as we dive through the earth. We can see a nice fight developing between her gaming and Matt's in life. They're going to ride along with Matt's in life. He's got sticky bombs here. We'll pick up one of those. This can be a bit confusing down here as there are lots of entrances and exits to these underground we tunnel systems. Out. We might have another. Well, this is the exit. It is indeed. Now would be the time for that sticky bomb. Get real close. Look at it to see if it works. It did. What do you know? Always a bit sketchy coming out of here. You never know if somebody's just waiting. We've seen that a couple times so far today. Her gaming makes it out. Still down below is Max and Life, but it uh, looks like on the top here, <laughs> Bushka is waiting. Her gaming going to have to leave her teammate. She's uh, already separated and, and segmented out. Bushka arrives late on the scene, but it's ultimately just in time. And just like that, her gaming finished off. They gang up on her. It's not not fair, Bushka. Bushka squad doing work right now. He's really doing work. They've got the high ground secured at this point, taking out the only squad nearby, and they're firing shots all over the place, pretty much every direction. He's gonna he's gonna take some shots at you. It's a good mark out for his teammates here. We'll ride along with Alucard for the moment. No kills this time out. They've lost a team member, so they're rocking three at this point, but we're working with it. Here's the throw. Sticky bomb out. Can he connect? Good shot. Doesn't quite connect. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck. Oh. Alucard scrambling and almost gets taken down. For me, that is the most stressful, the most uh, scary, absolutely Madre terrifying mia. thing is when you're running up a ridge and you're just trying to make it Madre over. Mia. And unfortunately, Sorry. they start shooting right at the top. And uh, yeah, well, that's that's basically what happens. You can see 
Alucard react there. Doesn't quite get taken down. So good for him. He's still in the fight. And it looks like we were riding along with Hot Jukes now. He's uh, working his way around the outskirts here again. Playing edge. They've got a squad to contend with. He's looking for him. It's the smokes. We've got Kazu. Metalcore with another kill. Oh, but return fire. Nay knocks him. Hot Jukes with the Thompson. Gets the knock, gets the finish. Kazu takes down Hot Jukes and immediately returns fire. Unfortunate here, but uh, it looks like I can't tell who's got the upper hand. Everybody seems to be knocked. Both sides desperately need to patch themselves up and get back into this one. Not sure where the fourth member of Hot Jukes' squad is. Shots in from behind. Bushka almost taken down there. Holy cow. Just clips him quite a quite a bit there. Up on the high ground. Metal Core has that good high ground. They're laying down some shots. Bushka returns fire. Gets the knock on Viper. They're going to push the action. He's got his heels. He's going to push the action. Take that position. He's going to put his flag on the ground up here. Choose a squad. Very nice, very nice. That's Kazu gone. All right, so let's just play it smart. Move into zone slowly. Advice from Hot Juice. Hot Juice taking down Kazu. Kazu eliminated. That's a big one because Kazu was sitting in second place. Bushka getting another knock and finish. Watch out. Got I'm Metal Core on the top here. Guards his entrance there with his sticky. Let's see if that's effective or not. Good connection here from Metalcore. It's Bushka versus Metalcore right now. And it looks like. Impressive. Can he connect? He does. Metalcore connects. Dang it. Oh no, he gets caught from behind. Bushka's squad swarms. It's too much. They will be able to pick him up. They lose one, but ultimately Bushka will be back in the fight. Metalcore, though, props, my man. You picked up some great kills that game. Good action all the way around, but Bushka lives to fight another day. Who is the hero that's going to stop this man from rampaging to the top of the leaderboards? Can it be anybody? Hot Jukes, can your squad do it? I have no idea. But Bushka running amok right now on Karakin. He is not taking no for an answer. When Sanity, though, smells blood in the water, there's a squad that's injured, shorthanded, hurt. Rock He's going to take advantage. Yeah, he's just crouched over there. So Wynn taking a peek above the ridge, trying to figure out where they're at. They know they're close, but not exactly where. Should be any moment when they start to peek above that ridge. Wynn's going to push to the next rock. Bushka and team have taken refuge in one of those domes. Fortunately, it's not one with a bunker. The engagement begins. Bushka plays uh, like every pub player I know, which is you hear shots, you run directly at them. I love this. Bushka on the retreat from this engagement. They want to grab that high ground, a little bit better position. Maybe work to a spot where it's not as predictable. We are hearing that Kazu is the current kill leader of the game. And the Yo, whole tournament as a whole right now. He's got 13 kills so far. So he's taking over from yeah, Alucard. Good, good shots there from Ace Lawrence. Somebody else has got to try to make it across there. That's going to be difficult with all of these guys looking down. Fake Jacob right on the top of Ace Lawrence here. They're taking refuge in this bunker. Not sure if they can go down below in this one, but uh, they do not going. have the safest of surroundings at the moment. It's like this is not one they can go down. Black Zone is beginning. Dab plays trying to push to the mountaintops here. He's down to two members of his squad, him and 
Kona Loco. He's got to try to make it to that zone. Teammates are marking up about 300 meters ahead of him, so he knows there's action coming up. He's going to try to boost and get uh, get ready for it before the zone catches him from behind. I have another kit here. Come on, I'll give you a kit. I'll give you a kit. I have a bullet from the 5, if you need it. I'll give it to you here on the way. Good shot. Good shot. Black zone nearby is just destroying the loot that he was just picking up. Oh, Makes it out just Dab. in time. Dab is down. Ace Lawrence has taken him down. So that bunker finally paid off for okay. Ace Lawrence. Good spread on the overall map here. One of the things I'm interested in seeing, oh, wow, Lou Power has been just given the game, provided that they can hold. The only person in the safe zone currently is Lou Power's squad, and they are smack dab center, and I believe they have the high ground. So we'll see if this uh, pans out for them. Watch out. Good shots from distance here, Lou Power. No fue el headshot de mi vida, pero le clavé headshot. <laughs> We've got an amazing spot here on the hill for Lou Power Squad. He's got Tanner, who made a made a good posterizing kill of WPGN last game with that jumping Uzi shot. And uh, it looks like Bushka's camping on the top of the hill as well, trying to hold that position. Coming out for the bunkers, though, is going to be a challenge for uh, Ace Lawrence. He's rocking the shotgun. He arriba? is the shotgun man, so uh, I'm excited to see what he could do. And if he could actually you close know? the range... To somewhere where a shotgun is actually effective. So I'm rooting for you, Ace. Let's see if we can make it happen. Play zone starting to do its work. When Sanity picking up a kill there with that Blood Raven X suit. Matson in life's getting a kill. And comes out and gets the finish. Unfortunately, he gets shot from another angle immediately. Squad mate has him saved for now. They'll be able to get off the revive. Zone is coming quick though. Mark the location. Looks like Ace Lawrence does pick up a kill. Finishes off the squad there. We're down to six teams remaining. What's up? Blue power in the best of position. We'll ride along with Lou here as they rotate along the ridge, trying to get that visibility just beyond this next rock. Calling danger ahead. Calling guys on the right, so he sees them. He's Not trying to get that finish there. He it? does get the finish. I'll tap taken down here, and that's the first kill for Lou Power this game. Win sanity taken down as well. Lou Power from range getting the win. And that looks like a squad. Win squad taken out here. Luke Power still in prime position. Estamos bien, estamos bien. Nuestro amigo está peleando allá abajo. Uno arriba, creo. Matt's alive, taken down our shotgun man, Ace Lawrence. And it looks like Luke Power again has made it early into the next zone. They're really in firm control here. Looks like four squads remain. Luke Power and his squad are in prime position right in the middle here. Shots from range connects solid. Matt's in life does major damage there. They've got a long way to go to get into the zone. Hay que correr. Man, these are tough fights to take with a holographic sight. Looks like there's another one up there peeking him. He's trying to get down to that uh, that supply drop. We'll see if he's able to get the armor and the weapons that are down there. Perhaps a scope as well. That's what you really want at this point. Looks like Hot Jukes has a little bit of his squad remaining, sneaking up on Lou Power right now, trying to get it done. That's really good for Hot Jukes that he's still in. There's the 4X. He doesn't take it. Surprising move, actually.
All right, Bushka enjoying his squad mates. Watching here. Got one guy remaining. Right along with Hot Jukes, he's spectating his power. squad here. Who okay. Power's got the kill on Matt's and Life. Nice and chill, dude. This oh, zone is zone continuing here. to play Beautiful. nice with Blue Power. Tough, tough spot here for uh, Hot Juice's oh, team member, Le oh, Bum. So juicy. Is he going to fire? Oh, that's so is juicy. he going to? Oh, my God. It's a free kill. Go. It's a free kill. Nope, nope, it's a nope. free kill. Is he going to shoot him? Le Bum. Talk about self-control. I wouldn't be able to do it. Chat, tell me if you'd be able to not shoot this man. David Portacar is just know, saying, shoot me in the ear hole. I don't know if I could. I don't know if I could not. That's that's just too easy. Nice and nice and cheap. he's still there. Nice oh, my cheap. gosh. If zone does shift. Then you're going to have to do it. But we'll see. You're going to have to do it anyway. Shoot him. Hot juice. Tell him to shoot him. Yeah. Top rock's going to be a little annoying. Yeah, it's going to be annoying, but. At least you get a kill point this way. You get a 1v3 these people anyway. Three teams left. Blue Power taking on the Bushka, taking on Hajuks. The Bushka in the top three again. And the Bushka's teammate gets a knock. Goes FTP with the push. This is the time. This is the time for the, the shots from the sideline here. Hajuks, tell your man. Oh, there it is. There it is. He's out. Oh, man. He missed the opportunity. He could, he, oh, nope. Maybe. Maybe. He got the angle. Maybe. Oh, this is incredible. He gets a nade off here. He wins. Head. Watch out. Enemies ahead. This is insane. Drunky, drunky, drunky. He can't get off the hill. He's got one HP. He's going for the revive. Going for the revive. Hot Jukes' squad trying to make an amazing come from behind finish here with one member remaining. Not a problem. Going for the rotation. Oh, no. Open. He's wide in the open. Oh, no, wide in the open. That's a what job. No! no! Oh! He gets completely so leveled. His, torn, oh, his head what torn from his shoulders. Though? Oh, my goodness. Hot Jukes and a squad. Impressive finish on that one. I would not have had the self-control to hold back, but it was good enough for a second-place finish. But notably, guys, the Bushka in the top three once again, albeit on the back of his teammates' shoulders this time, but the man has locked down another top three, and it's going to be tough to catch him this time. Let's take a look at our scoreboard for round number four. Lou Power rounding out the top one with uh, four kills, and he's got an amazing... Uh, chunk of kills with his team there. We've got the Bushka in third, Hot Juke second, and we're looking at Ace Lawrence in fourth. Scroll it down pretty quickly. Here we got Win in sixth. It looks like uh, Ace is in fifth, Maps in life fourth, and then we'll scroll down to uh, seventh. We got Dab plays. We got Fake Jacob in eighth, and then uh, in ninth place, we're looking at Metalcore. Shout out to Metalcore that time around. Turn it around, picking up five kills as a squad that time out. Good stuff from him. We had Kazu, our overall kill leader at this point, rocking in 10th place. So we are going to look at the overall leaderboard at this point. Bushka putting on a clinic. 122 points. This is going to be very difficult for anyone to catch as we move into the final game because the Bushka, well, he's got a commanding lead. I got to say, Hot Jukes, Lou Power, Jacob Gaming all in good position here in third, uh, second, third, and fourth. Matt's in life in good position in fifth. 69 total points. Incredible stuff all the way around from these guys, but it might be a race for second right now. Let's take a look at the highlights here from round number four as we gear up for our final round of play. Good stuff from the Bushka and his squad, as we mentioned. Uh, pretty incredible all day long, Bushka has been. So nice work to him. Kazu, our top killer so far. This man's got several kills, I believe 13 to his name after uh, a few rounds of play. He is uh, taken out a little bit early in this one, but his team still did pretty well. Could have been a little bit different ending there. Bushka decided to take that fight with Win, and ultimately they made the right call, retreated, and lived to fight another day. Close call from Metalcore there. Loved the fight with Bushka. He could have ended it all for him right there, but it just didn't happen. Good shots by Matt's in life. Can't get to safety, though. Taken down from the top of the hill. A 
Blue Power just absolutely putting on a clinic from range there. Taking down Winsanity, taking down a teammate. Picking up those good kills. You gotta love to see it. So we are having... This, to me, this was insane. Trying to kill this man and just... Oh. I wouldn't have been able to stop. Chad, I wouldn't have been able to do it. So here it is. The, the, the weapon switch and the finish. And then here we go. This was so close. He had this team down to one HP. Couldn't get the finish. Ultimately finished a second. But beautiful game all the way around. Game number five is on screen right now, guys. It's 3701725. That is your room ID, 3701725. Password is 1212. So uh, you guys can go ahead and load that up right now. We are going to go ahead and get ready to get that thing rocking and rolling. We got another fifth game coming up here in just a second. But again, I want to figure out who won the video clip uh Carrick and conqueror contest i want to see the finalists i want to see who won so let's go ahead and roll the winners right now it's time to announce the Carrick and conqueror video clip contest winners let's first start with third place bomb, from the united uh, states of america coming out with the sticky bomb oh, make it? Oh, he's doesn't quite there. connect with a sticky bomb but it looks like he might be overwhelmed beautiful hip fire headshot he's got one his friend pushes up, hides, but unsuccessfully, and that's another hip fire headshot, and a third man turned on, fired, and the hip shot triple is successful. We'll take out a fourth for the squad wipe, and that'll be good Let's for go. 8,000 UC. Congratulations. Next up in second place from Nicaragua, we've got the flimsy walls on Karakin on display in full effect here. Just like that, he takes the man out through the walls, utilizing that brand new feature. That'll be good for second place and 16,000 UC. Congratulations. And in first place from Colombia, he chucks a sticky bomb and wait for it. Just like that, he's clowned on him. Take it out with a sticky bomb. You know you guys have tried that and have been unsuccessful, but not this man. He's getting it done. Firing the Panzerfaust out from distance as well. Lands went on the roof, connects for the win. 32,000 UC in prizes. Congrats to all of our winners of the Carrick and Conqueror video clip contest, but we have one more staff choice from the PUBG Mobile team. And this clip right here, we take it home, 8,000 UC as well. Amazing stuff all the way around on the Carrick and Conqueror screenshot contest. Thank you all for participating and keep an eye on PUBG Mobile's social media for contests in the future. Obviamente donde caiga más gente para que haya mucha más acción y más kills. Pero bueno, si tengo que elegir alguna zona, puedo elegir Jadika Nemo o Bayara, dos ciudades que me gustan mucho, así que podría decirse que son mis favoritas. Supongo que lo que diferencia este mapa del resto es que es un mapa muy pequeño, un mapa 2x2 y hay mucho PvP, es enfrentamientos constantes. Así que yo creo que eh, el ser tan frenético es lo que caracteriza este mapa y lo que más me gusta. Para mí, la característica más divertida, lo mejor que tiene cara a quien solo lanza misiles, esos Panzerhaus, una chulada, de verdad. Cuando tú tienes uno, ¿cómo revientan, de verdad? ¿Cómo revientan eso? Al principio me gustaba caer simplemente en la primera ciudad que pasa el avión. Me da un poco igual la ciudad, sino que yo intento buscar el máximo de PvP posible. Diría que los C4, muy útiles. Diría que al Java, buen sitio. La verdad para mí que Karakin es uno de los mejores mapas que ha tenido Pokémon. El es demasiado divertido, o sea... Que sea pequeño hace que las partidas sean cortas. Entonces tú dices, bueno, pero no va a tener tanto loot. No, no, no. En cada casa puedes encontrar un M4, una KM, puedes encontrar una G36C, creo que se llama así. O sea, súper divertido porque ya armas a gente, es súper rápido. Entonces no vas a estar tanto tiempo en encontrarte más gente. Así puedes practicar mucho y estar muy a tope de power siempre. Así que les recomiendo, ya saben chicos, jugar Karakin. Oh, 
baby. We got game number five. I'm so excited to see who is going to try to give Bushka a run for his money. We got the fifth and final game just about to load up. Before we hop in, let's check the lay of the land. Let's check out the leaderboard really quickly. See who's doing what. The Bushka has a massive lead right now. 43 points, it looks like, ahead of Hot Jukes. Lou Power, Hot, Jacob Gaming, Matt's in life. So we got a lot of, I, one thing I noticed though, the Spanish speaking creators, we got we got Lou up there, Matt's in life, Cashew, these guys are killing it. Alucard, all of them putting up big numbers. I'm gonna challenge somebody here. I'm gonna see, I wanna see Farouk. I wanna see you pick it up and have a big day here. But let's see again what we're playing for, or at least what Bushka is likely to get. And that's the first place trophy. And up to 24,000, you see that he's gonna be able to give away to his audience. So guys, make sure you go subscribe to Bushka as well as everyone else that is here. And our MVP of the day, the top assassinator, the killer, the guy that you don't wanna find yourself on the other end of the rifle, he's gonna get 16,000, you see, to deliver to his audience. So with all that being said, we've got an exciting game number five, Karakin coming up in just a moment. I cannot wait to see how this rolls out. Let's go ahead and get to the battlefield and see who's gonna take the cake as the Karakin Conqueror. Oh my goodness. We've got a lot of people going to Bashara. This is gonna be a party. Here we go. Fifth and final game is underway. Bashara is popping. It looks like a few squads see that. They go a little bit further. They're going to land out in the middle of nowhere. And it looks like Habika Nemo as well could be an area of interest. Most squads, it looks like seemingly going away from that, though. Oh, no. You're telling me there's five buildings and eight players. This is going to end well. I'm positive of it. This... Uh, how? How have, how have two squads landed at this compound? This is not a thing. FIFA gets left behind, and Bella Fox, I believe, is off to a solid start this time. She doesn't necessarily need the ammunition and, and armor in this one. Go get you some kills, girl. All right, here it is. Vin, don't get pistoled, bro. Reload that double barrel dramatically. Get the Point Blake finish. And Vinny, you love to see it, my man. Shots from the ridge. We got Lou Power raining them down. This is an interesting start to this one. I, I am kind of uh, giggling on the inside here at eight people landing at a complex of five buildings. Ain't never seen anything like it. Fake Jacob getting a uh, kill on Kazu early. That's going to be big for the MVP standings, but Kazu was our kill leader. Fake Jacob taking down Maldonado as well. Metalcore returning fire, taking down Fake Jacob as well. And finishing Fake Jacob. Kazu finished by, oh my goodness, this is crazy. We Our have uh, a few way exchange early out of this one. Metalcore, we're riding along with him now. We have found the action. And he gets another knock from Let's range keep with up the on MP5. Metalcore. We need to keep up on this hill. We need to get more ammo. Last two games. I don't think I was able to thirst. Oh, he's thirsty. Looking for more ammo before they go take that fight. Finds a little bit of 9 mil here. But they have a few teams on the ropes early. No one fully eliminated just yet, but four players wiped off the map. One of those being Kazu. That's going to be a tough one. Down in the distance, we got Fake Jacob working his way down the hill. We'll ride along now with Kazu. Tanner looking at the, uh, can you hide on the inside? I was going to say that seems like an unnecessary risk, my friend. They open up the, uh, the hatch. They're going down the stairs to the underground bunkers. Got ourselves loot galore down in these underground bunkers. If they can make it all the way down to the, the full underground, some of them are actually capped and you can only go a certain distance. Those with the rubble, you can't actually break through those at all. So that's a little bit difficult. Ace Lawrence taken down by Le Bum. Hopefully Ace can get a revive here. But Just it looks like Hot Juice it, yeah. and his don't squad it, on the push. You, you guys have There's to fight. Ace Lawrence. He's telling him you have to fight. Oh, it's Carnage. 
It is absolute carnage. Hachu's picking up the kill with the sticky bomb. Oh man, that was uh, that was a devastating push there. Hachu's coming in, taking down Ace Lawrence. But this is uh, this is a uh, what Hachu's needed. Sitting in second place right now, he needed some big kills, and he needs to actually finish in first place if he wants a chance of catching Bushka. We gotta keep going though, dude. We gotta keep going if we wanna stand any chance. That's. That's exactly right, Hot Juice. You got to keep on the gas here. You got to keep pushing the pedal to the metal. If you want any chance of catching Bushka, all Bushka really needs to do is stay alive and finish in the top 10 somewhere. Oh, good shots there. Tanner taken down. It looks like uh, the squad three uh, has gotten the finish there. So nice work. That is Bella Fox's squad. We're riding along with her now. <laughs> Bushka has changed his good. outfit for this that. game, I'm hearing, uh, to be a little bit less conspicuous. His raven outfit, the one uh, that's all black feathery, well, apparently he does not look like that. We'll have to check his uh, appearance here in just a little bit when we find him. Oh my goodness, look at this. Dab plays and his squad are doing some sort of team huddle. I don't know if they're counting, gambling, playing marbles. What's going on here? Got Jacob on Gaming in the tunnels. Puts very exposed to our left side. Uh, wait till number one. Ever the stat <laughs> strateg okay. strategist. Yeah, there you go. That's the word I was looking for. So ever the strategist here. Jacob Gaming trying to get his squad out of the tunnels unscathed. And so we need to take the whole top as fast as possible, which is to our left. Great call outs here. Or anyone can like rotate on us. Oh, no. Really good comms from fake Jacob here. Pushing the top Guy of the hill, hill, trying open. to get to the high ground. And it's open. They take it successfully. Really nice job from uh, Jacob Gaming getting to the top of that hill. We've got an interesting uh, race going for MVP. Had uh, Kazu and Alucard enter the final match tied at 14 kills apiece. Who is it going to be? Probably not Kazu since he, uh, you know, had a little bit of a struggle early. But Lou Power has been knocked. That's not going to be good. Bella Fox knocked in return. Uh, I see three people crawling in a row, and that's not the best spot to be if you're trying to play PUBG Mobile. That play's knocked as well. We got several squads in trouble at the moment. Matt's in life doing some work from range. Riding along now with WPGN. Gonna take this ridge ahead of the blue zone. He's got some teammates up in the zone still. Watch out! He's gonna try to make his way in. Yeah. Get to the safe zone ASAP. I'm trying, brother. Let's take a look over at Bushka if we can uh, if we can get an angle on Bushka. I'd love to see the outfit that he's rocking for this game. There it is. He's gone with the Blood Raven X suit. And wouldn't you know it, it looks almost the same, but just with a little bit of red. Bushka, I don't know about you blending in, my man. I think people might look at that and say, ah, it could be Bushka. Let's let's shoot him. Ultimately, he picks up a kill, though, and his squad is still cruising. They got all four members up. They got to patch one guy up, but I think they're doing all right. So here we go. We are 11 teams alive. And uh, the next team out will put everyone else into the points as far as placement That's goes. Bushka, bro. See, I told you that wasn't going to be conspicuous enough. She immediately calls out. That's Bushka. Bushka knocked. Should have stuck with the other suit, my man. So her gaming on the offensive here. Going to try to heal up. Definitely took some damage from that blue zone. When Sanity taking down Juicy, getting that knock. Come on, her gaming. Get that push. I'll tap on the corner there, trying to get some shots out. We got Devotion on the flank. This is a tough one all the way around. Good throw from the Sticky Bomb. Is it going to land, though? 
I don't know where it went, but it, it went somewhere. Bushka gets healed up, and he's gonna take this party somewhere else, it looks like. Devotion taking down a couple of people. That's two more kills for Bushka. Oh, look at the finish! The teamwork! I'm pushing up a little bit. Great teamwork there from her gaming and her squad. That was really, really nice. Bushka now in trouble, separated from Devotion. To my left. Hot Jukes picking up another kill. Hot Jukes and his squad are really, really making a play for the top of the leaderboard here. Gets the finish. In life taken down by Winsanity. Winsanity's having a nice, sneaky, quiet game here. Her gaming not getting the last laugh here. Bushka's gonna try to get the finish. Great shot there. Jake from State Farm also uh, conveniently taken down. Bush has got to be concerned with meds at this point. He's got to get to zone. One other player here, Caitlin, trying to hold Bushka hostage in the zone. When Sandy gets the finish elsewhere on Maps and Life. Huh. There's the push. Bushka has just traded places now. Now he's gatekeeping. What an interesting play. He's got to try to heal. Gets the, gets the finish and gets the heal off. You got to love it. So you see the map, Bushka's way out in the zone. As soon as the zone resets on that white line, he's going to have to be hauling butt to zone. He's got to go. Hadika Nemo looking pretty solid right now, but it looks like the zone is centering on Hajuks as well as Destroger. Uh, we also have uh, WPGN and his squad over there. So we'll go over to Hajuks right now. Three kills to his name already. Squad doing well. He's still got three members up, but we'll see if that's enough to hold this high ground and hold for the first place finish that he so desperately needs. Up in here, man. They ain't got no. They ain't got no grenades or nothing, man. We'll hear if. If they uh, throw a, a sticky bomb or something, we'll see where zone shift goes. And it's, hey, it's on us, dude. We can just chill. Just now realizing the zone's here. All good, though. He's got the zone, so he didn't have to do much. They're waiting for the sounds of any sticky bombs or Panzerfaust blowing up, giving away the locations of the enemy team. So they don't know where anybody's at just yet, but they're down to hang out in the bunkers. Juicy taken down by Fake Boss. Fake Boss getting the, the flush. Great overview right there of the map. You can see kind of where everybody's trying to creep up. The high ground in the middle is definitely attractive. MK14 by Dextroger with the 4X on there. So this thing could be some serious, serious trouble. Connects to the head, but doesn't get the flush there. Really nice shots, though, from Dextroger. Sticky bomb. It's coming out. Another one comes out. Doesn't quite make it to the top of the hill. Oh, no. Third party angle. Connects once, but he's still trying to figure out exactly where all these enemies are. Hot Jukes, you, nice sombrero, my friend, but you need a helmet. Let's get you a helmet. Good shots on Ruben there. Takes him down in the middle. Hotjuice has got a nice little overlook here. Looking over on uh, Dextroger, you can see him firing off into the distance. Trying to get those shots to land at range. Still nothing happening. Way off in the distance, trying to connect. He sees somebody running. Doesn't quite get there. Win Sanity, though, this picks up another kill. Win's having a sneaky good game here. Oh, I need five. Nice shots weekend. there. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Play zone taking the, the kill from him. Robbed. MK14 doing work for Dick Stroger. 
second. Nine teams left. Everybody trying to make their move to the zone at this point in time. Wind's got a long way to run. Oh my god, did he just kill somebody with a panzer? Oh shoot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bushka goes down to a panzer. So, uh, panzer files being used effectively on Bushka. You love to see it. Lots of people with no helmets. Checking the surroundings. Make sure nobody's coming up behind. Tough, tough uh, spot to be. You don't want to push too far over the ridge there. We're coming down to the end of it here. Game number five. Bushka has been wiped, so it doesn't look like he's going to finish super high unless his teammates can get him to the finish line. Lots of shots being traded right now. Not a whole lot landing at the moment. Metalcore finally connects with Fake Boss. Got the MP5 still at this point in the game. We got Jacob Gaming swimming. It's all good. A lot of people playing PUBG, and this man's out here practicing his breaststroke. Pretty cool view, though. Not going to lie. All right, so you open Water's the door. clear oh, yeah. on Karakin. So it looks like Wind's picking up his teammates, trying to make well. that push to I'm zone. just trying to hit him so do, to do damage. Dextroger trying to get to safety right here so he can have a chance of being revived. He really has got to depend on this other team not peeking him. Oh, what? Somebody shot. And there it is. PG finishes him off. WPGN takes down Dextroger. Nice, 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 nice. Do in the distance. Mark the location. Mark the location. I'm out. Oh. Need ammo. Good shots oh, there from WPGN. Doesn't quite connect. Um, if you got any smoke on, them, up on me. there's a crate kind of close. Watch out. Marking those supplies on the map, trying to get to them to get those smokes, get some heals, get some more ammo. Being out in the mountains is not like the greatest way to loot right up right unless right you're able to wipe some squads. More. So huddling together on this rock, we've got an entire squad, Hot Juice and two of his buddies, just chilling, hanging out. Looks like WPGN and his squad are pretty well spread. Jacob's still underwater. Nice shots from Jukes connecting at range. A couple more over there as well. Man, they're just getting mowed down. Oh, crap. Zone's on us? Yeah, exactly. No oh, crap is oh, right. Man, this sucks. this sucks. Yep, they lost track of the blue oh, zone, right and they're going to have to zone. heal. Rip. This hurts. Ajus did not want that to happen. He needs this placement if he wants any chance of pushing up the leaderboard. Metalcore still in it, firing shots. Uh, Hot Juice is done. That's that's it. He's going to uh, try to get that that first aid off. I don't I don't know. Yeah, he's done. Play zone takes him down. Look at this. Oh. Metal Core that just got in his zone. The, the drop, drop shot. shot no, he takes him down from behind. And Insanity's team taken Fit. down. They've made it to number five, though. And it looks like Metal Core taken down by Win. Win immediately taken down from behind. Look at this. No heals. Farouk's team still in it. But no heals. Don't back up too far there, man. That's going to be tough. Jacob's still oh, playing right for there. placement here. They're trying to oh, get nice into that team. top couple of spots. He did back up into the play zone. My man just backed up into the play zone. It started to move and it caught him immediately and knocked him. Unfortunate. Fake Jacob getting the kills. He takes down Dree. Gets another kill on WPGN. They immediately return fire and just like that, they take him down. 
Really nice try to fake Jacob there. We've got two teams left. Here we go. It looks like we got team 13 and 15. So WPGN and Metalcore. Can Metalcore swing in for our and entire get team a this dub entire game. in the last game? Watch out. Please. Thank you. Both teams very well aware of where each other are, but it looks like Metalcore in far better shape as far as meds go. These Market, guys are bandaging and we're just shooting drinking. Get a, a kill. Ultimately, if we get a knock, we gotta do a push. I just want to save my team, man. You guys are OP, depressed. Ruben, Dre, man, you guys are being killed. <laughs> Love it. Depressed. Ruben, Dre immediately gets shot. <laughs> WPGN. Love the sentiment, though, my man. Love the sentiment. Thanks to everyone who to teamed up here today. It's been really, really fun. Here, you can have my bandies and my pain. Oh, they got a molly. They over molly, though. He's pushing right. Oh, he's at the rock. The push is coming. He's at the Depressed. Rock. Don't hang out there again, bro. What are you doing? Ah, no. I don't think they know. Depressed. I don't think they know. Let's freaking go. They're outside his own. How did my team Just win like that? Are you kidding me? <laughs> How did my team win that? Are you kidding me? That's like the clip of the night for sure. Metalcore and his squad. I don't know how they won it either, but they did. It was pretty incredible. They were literally right there the whole time, just like waiting. And I don't know how they didn't see, but WPGN said it. Uh, thank you to all of you guys for, for coming out and playing with the creators tonight. We got to get to the prizes, though. We got to get to the winners here in just a few moments because we got some people to talk to. Let's check the scoreboard for that last round. Wow. See Bappy coming out with uh, nine kills in that one. Metalcore and his squad finishing in first place overall. WPGN taking second. Fake Jacob taking third place. We dock uh, seven kills there. We got fourth place with Farouk Ahmad. Fifth place with Winsanity. Sixth place, Hot Jukes. Good finish there, but I don't know if it'll be enough. They did pick up nine kills. We also had Dick Stroger in seventh. We had Matson Life in eighth. Ninth place, we saw the Bushka. So it looks likely that he will be able to hold on to the top spot. We'll have to figure that out in just a moment. Got Bella Fox coming in in 10th, and everyone on down for there. Uh, no points at the leaderboard. So here is the overall leaderboard. And just like that, we have the Bushka coming in with 159 total points to take the victory and be named the Karakin Conqueror. Hajuks taking second place with 129 points. Jacob Gaming with 118. That's going to round out your top three. And Metalcore picking up the slack, coming in hot with 99 total points. You'll love to see it from Metal, Lou Power, Matson Life, Winsanity, Ace Lawrence, Kazu, and WPGN rounding out your top 10. But there it is, guys. The Bushka winning. The Karakin Conqueror Tournament. I definitely think you guys need to let him hear it in the chat. Let him know. How did you think the Bushka did? I thought he was a monster today. It was good stuff all the way around. The Bushka, congratulations once again. 24,000 UC and an amazing Karakin Conqueror Trophy is headed your way. We'll hear from him in just a minute. But first, let's take a look at the highlights from our last round of action. Starting out with a double barrel from Point Blank is Vinny. You gotta love that. Eight people dropping on five buildings. Lou Power taking shots from a distance. Woo-wee! Good long-range shots here. Metalcore coming out strong from the start there. So really nice work to him. Got Ace Lawrence, unfortunately, got caught early on this one. His squad just ruthlessly pushed here by Hot Juice's squad. Good move all the way around. It looks like he... Uh, he did get the uh, finish there on this squad with a nice sticky bomb. So you love to see it here. Bella Fox, well, just didn't go her way today, did it? She was struggling to find the armor and the helmets all game long, all tournament long. And ultimately, uh, she landed on that uh, that five building set towards the end. So tough going for Bella, but overall, it was really fun to watch. The Bushka, though, there's the, the change in suit. Her gaming sniffed it out, had a nice little battle here towards the end with her. And her gaming and Bushka, she knew right away. That's Bushka. I know it. And they're going to go fight. And sure enough, her gaming picking up some great kills there. Good teamwork with uh, with her squad. Ultimately, though, Bushka had the patience to wait and uh, did, did some great work here. Nice push here towards the end as well. 
going around getting the final kill there it is and the play zone will help him with the rest there it is Winsanity heck of a game from him lots of kills and distance and I saw a lot of content creators die by Winsanity's hand this fifth and final game Hot Jukes doing work though from range this time around and ultimately, a really nice engagement there from Metalcore and Win. Win gets metal, but metal has the last laugh. As you can see, his squad here picking up the victory. Pretty good stuff. So overall, an amazing game. Really love the uh, <laughs> the the overall here. So good stuff all the way around. While we wait for Bushka to get loaded up for an interview, I uh, want to know what you guys thought in the chat. Uh, what was your favorite moment of tonight's stream? I don't know if I if I had to pick one. I gotta say, had to be the the dancing underneath the uh, the underground tunnels. You gotta love it. Everybody's kind of doing their thing. This man's down there just just doing his thing, dancing. So overall, good stuff all the way around. Uh, we had some amazing uh, sticky bomb kills from Hot Jukes. I want to give a special shout out to uh, Alucard and also to Kazoo. Those guys both had some amazing frags. I'm talking, I'm talking in the in the double digits between the two of them. So we'll have to see on the MVP uh, here when those kill totals come in as well. So looking looking forward to talking to Bushka here in just a moment. And uh, we've got ourselves the leaderboard. We'll check out again how kind of things wrapped up towards the uh, end of this one. We'll start at the bottom here. Farouk coming in uh, 16th place, 27 overall points. Her gaming put up 30. I felt like she had a lot of action today, even though... Uh, it didn't work out for her on the scoreboard. She had a lot of action. Uh, Dick Stroger ends up with 44. Dab plays 46. We had Bella Fox with 51. Alucard with 54. Another guy that the placement didn't quite work out, but found himself in a lot of fights today. Same with Kazu there in 9th. WPGN, we, we don't want to forget him in 10th place. 8th, Lawrence in 8th. We had Winsanity at uh, 75 uh, overall points, which was a solid showing. Matt's in life. Lou Power sitting in 5th. Uh, then we had Metalcore shooting up those last few games with the points and uh, ultimately making it all the way to the top. Again, the Bushka set the tone early, came out, got stuff done. And uh, I'd love to see the replay from the last little bit of action as well, if we could bring that back up. And uh, we'll get our uh, interview situated here in just a moment. Do we have the MVP yet? We were talking about Kazu. We were talking about Alucard, ratcheting up those kill totals. Who was going to get the MVP? Well, I will say it was a Spanish-speaking contestant, and it was Lou Power. The Power Army is going to be able to celebrate as Lou Power. You have gotten today's most kills and the MVP, 18 total kills. The Power Army will be the recipient of 16,000 UC. Congrats, Lou Power, on your bonus that you'll be getting for that MVP performance today. Congrats to all of our contestants once again. I am hearing we do have Bushka ready to chat for a little bit of an interview. So let's bring Bushka in right now and see what the man has to say. G'day, Bushka, what's up, my man? Are you with me? Yeah, I'm, I'm here. Great, I'm here. man. Here. How are you feeling? I'm pumped, adrenaline soaked, just sweat drenched. Loved it. Every second of it. 
I can tell, my man. Why don't you, you know, beat off the old uh, brow there? Some sweat Ooh. is forming. Ooh. Speaking of sweat, you know, it was a sweaty performance today. What kind of strategies did you have that allowed you to ultimately get so far ahead after just a couple of games? Well, I think the key here was picking really good teammates. Uh, I got my buttocks carried very heavily in the uh, last couple of games there. There was a section at the start I went well, then good in the second, and then the third and fourth games, I was absolutely rubbish. Win sanity ate my lunch. And uh, the two guys that were with me, Season 12 Conquerors, I think. I'm not sure that everyone else got a couple of Season 12 Conquerors in their backpack, but I was very happy to have them. And uh, they helped get me across the line. And then the last game, we just had a bit of fun. Hey, it's all good. You guys were well out in front that last game. A little bit of fun, deserve it. Speaking of fun, if I had to, you know, throw a softball to you, what's your favorite new thing about the Karakin map? For me, I'm having a blast with it, but what's your favorite feature about it? Mate, I love the Sticky Bomb. Sticky Bomb is just a lot of giggle. Uh, and it it's really fantastic too. The layout of the map itself, the fact that you're always getting third party, you're never safe, and you'll be in the middle of a gunfight and someone will just pop up next door to you and say g'day and turn you into little bits. Uh, it's always active. It's always uh, a lot of movement and dynamic. I think that's the best thing about PUBG Mobile, dynamic gameplay. And this is certainly giving me a bit of dynamic gameplay today. 100%. I couldn't agree more with you. The dynamics on Karakin are truly something special. I look forward to seeing a Karakin Conqueror trophy soon on a set near you, perhaps right behind you. Again, big right congratulations, you, Bliska. 24,000 UC to go out to your audience Woo. again. Uh, big congrats. We'll be in touch to deliver that. But again, congratulations today, man, on the performance. And again, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, PP, PUBG Mobile, AMG, all the wonderful people there who work so hard behind the scenes to make these events happen. They work super hard. I'm talking about guys like the Flipper, everyone. Good shout out, man. Good shout out. Thank you so much, uh, Bushka. Appreciate you being here, man. Again, congrats. Enjoy the trophy. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's tournament. And I implore you, if you have not downloaded the game just yet, if you've not followed uh, so on social media, PUBG Mobile, go follow them on social media. They're at PUBG Mobile everywhere where social media exists. You can find them on Twitch, on Twitter, on Facebook, on YouTube, Instagram, etc. Go follow because you never know when events like this one are going to go down. And you can tune in there for updates. And make sure if you're not already playing the game, download PUBG Mobile, quite obviously, because you get some exciting Karakin gameplay, as well as all of the other amazing maps and dynamic gameplay that are available through PUBG Mobile. But again, my name's been Power Bang. I've been the host of tonight's show. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, big thank you for all of the support for your creators, and make sure to go drop them all the subscription as well. Before you go, drop a follow or a subscription on the PUBG Mobile page, and we will see you guys in the next one.